We forgot about Yo Yo as the MC, Nick. Uh, I think oh, I think uh, uh, Miss Nut mentioned Yo Yo in the song, man. And you niggas in the chat room are wrong. <laughs> Y'all gotta stop, man. What if the fans see that? What if she's seen that shit? But in their defense, what defense? Before they even went in there, I asked you the same question on the side because I was confused. <laughs> <laughs> it is the Roll Out Show. It's your boy Sweetie in the building. And else we got? Shelly Rio. Behind the glass curtain we got? Shalom to the people. Bam, in your face. It is the Roll Out Show. You want to call in? 747-888-308-DEUCE. And don't forget, uh, we'll be uh, announcing uh, a new daytime or night, well, I guess midday lineup. Is that right? Let me, oh, is that right? let me figure it out, yeah. Yeah, figure it out. Something like that. Something like that. And we're going to figure it out. Uh, also, too, it is Throwback Thursday. It, it, is, it is also August 22nd. All Virgos in the building! Uh, Libras. Nah, you <laughs> unbalanced. I'm next. Like, when's your birthday? The 27th of September. My Mine's the 26th. Of September? Oh, no, of uh, what? October. Your birthday's October 26th? No, my daughter. Oh, I was like, what are you talking about? That's not a uh, Virgo. Virgo's the 21st. <laughs> yeah, and then Brooklyn's is the 31st. Yes, his party's coming up. Yeah, and then his sister, his big sister's birthday is the 8, 19th, I think, or 18th, something like that. Dude, my son's lucky. He, his, he gets off punishment literally the day before Brooklyn's birthday party. I was like, you yeah. just made it by the skinny of your So we got to figure something. But he wants to have a party at Fox House. I got to figure that out. <laughs> might be Fox or Jason. <laughs> 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 All right, it is 1991 here in the house, and we're going to go through the whole. What was you doing in 91? If you want to post in the chat room, you can do that. And 91. Shelly's reading the chat room. I read it earlier, and I was, felt really upset that your motherfuckers was going in on, <laughs> on our guests, which is not cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> motherfuckers was not, was relentless. Uh, all right, so if somebody was born August 22nd, 1991, how old would they be today? Huh? You said August 22nd? Mm-hmm. 1991. If they were born? Mm-hmm. Oh, 91. Uh, if they well, were born on August 22nd, Ford, 1991. 28 ish? You guys 91, 01, 11. It's not 28? 29. How old would they be in dog years? What's my real in question? In dog years? 29. <laughs> <What are> dog <laughs> years? <laughs> no, you're supposed to add, what is it? Five to it or something like I that. I gotta listen to Sugar Free. For every one human year is that seven years for a dog. Yeah. That's what Sugar yeah, Free says. So you gotta do that math. I will not. I'm it's in people years. Too much. All right. How old would you be in dog years, Pops? Really? <laughs> so that's how we doing it. I don't know. I'm gonna try right I Throw me under the bus like that. All right. So gas in 1991 was well. It says across the United States. So across the United States. it was a dollar twelve. So here you you're thinking it was way cheaper than that in. For sure, because I remember seeing it like 89 cents at one point. In New Jersey. In Jersey. And Joy, I'm sorry, Joy. I feel Z. like it was like that when I was in high school, though. A dozen eggs was 85 cents. A do- dozen eggs now are $2.65 on the average. My eggs are like three ninety nine. Yeah, so think about that. Uh, the average rent, which is, I, that's weird when they say that, because I don't know where what city, but it says the average rent was uh, $500 a month. For how many bedrooms? doesn't say that. The cost of a house then was one hundred twenty thousand. The it, the average income, the average person, I don't know who that is, mm. was making about thirty thousand a year, which comes out to about how much a month, Nick? That's about a little less than three thousand a month. That's not a lot. A little, yeah, little less than about twenty five hundred a month. Yeah, right so if you're making twenty five hundred a month, your rent is five hundred. Yeah, you you give. I'm like that's. I feel like that's what I make right now on my Etsy shop. <laughs> no, on my Etsy shop, not oh, okay. in, not in all my stuff. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, hurry up, and get you a job. Uh, yeah, so that, that's what was going on then. Uh, what was you know the top movie? Oh, I don't know what the top movie was, but I do know in '91 that's when Beauty and the Beast came out. My fa- one of my favorites. <laughs> Let's see what else came out. Oh, Hook. Hook was a good one. What's Hook? Hook. hook. It's about cats and Hook, but it was like in. Uh, live Captain action. Hook. Captain Hook. You know Peter Pan. Oh, Captain Hook. Hook. Hook, yes. No, my favorite movie in 91 was Silence of the Lambs. Oh, Silence of the Lambs came out too. Great fucking yep. movie. Terminator 2. Sleeping with the Enemy. That was good. Ooh. That was a good movie. That was a good, really, really good movie. Father of the Bride. That was good. Uh, this movie changed cinema a lot. Delma and Louise. Because there wasn't too many movies where the leads were both women. 
and I'm they like, were the lead. How come I'm like, I don't think I saw that. <laughs> yeah, it, it changed. And, it, and, and the ending really changed how, how you did movies because they, they just said, fuck this. They just drove off the cliff. And they showed them driving off the Wait, cliff. Wait, was this a true story? No, it's a fucking movie. But they did went on a was robbing it based spree. On the true but story? they were cornered by the police. I feel like but it was based on a true story though, wasn't it? No. I don't think so, Chad Room. Let me know. Yeah, it was. It was, it was. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so they drove off the edge. Oh, now I want to go how watch about, it. How about Jungle Fever? Great fucking I got movie. Jungle Fever. My parents Boys had Jungle Fever. Boys in the hood. <laughs> I was going to say, my favorite That came movie. out in 91? 91. Oh. My favorite movie from 1991 would have to be Boys in the Hood. Good Coming movie. in a close second, New Jack City. New Jack City's 90? Oh, sure. It, it says 1991. Coming in a close third. Freddy Krueger. From these Freddy options, Krueger. I'm going <laughs> to have to go double impact. Nah. John Claw Van Damme. This one, John Claw Van Damme was like, that guy. I, I'm going I'm to I'm throw a curve at you. The movie The Doors. I the never doors. seen it. What is that? It's the rock and roll about the rock and roll group. Yeah, uh, 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 what's Val his Kilmer. name? Um, well, Val Kilmer destroyed that yeah, movie. Val Kilmer killed it. Great fucking movie, man. If you get a chance and you like that kind of, you know, just just oh, a great fucking movie. What about uh, People Under the Stairs? That was a dope movie. Nah. That sounds creepy. That, that was a really good movie. Shit, that bullshit. Uh, Toy Soldiers. Nah, Bugsy was good. Child's Play Three was horrible. Child's yeah, that, oh. that now they was just trying to make money. I, I wasn't mad at Naked Gun too. I was not mad at that. I thought they had some funny moments in that movie. Uh, Never seen Naked Gun. As far as comedies are concerned, we're talking about comedies right now. Uh, did you go see Ninja Turtles? Of course, I used which, to love the Ninja Turtles. Which one came out in 1991 though? I think it was uh, three. Tur- number, was uh, Ninja three? Turtle two, two. Oh, two. two. Uh, one of the worst movies has to be Boy Scout, with. Uh, with uh, <laughs> yeah, that was terrible. With uh, 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 Wayans. Oh, but Roseanne was popular in '91. As far as TV shows, right? Now, was uh, Boys in the Hood was that um, Cuba Gooding Jr.'s first acting yeah. role? Uh huh. And what about? Well, uh, no, 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 no. Take that back. For those who know your cinema very well, like I do, and probably other people out there, his first movie you seen him in, he didn't have dialogue, but I heard originally it did. They cut it out. Was in Coming to America. When Eddie came in to get the haircut, Cuba Gooding Jr. Chair. was sitting in the chair. That's Bam! Right. In your face. TV show. All right, 91 TV shows. Full House. I used to love Full, Full House. Full House was dope. So mm-hmm. I think if I'm not mistaken, I, I think. Full House. So what? I think Tyron was supposed to play Cuba Gooding Jr.'s part in Boys in the Hood originally. I got to ask him. I didn't know that. If I'm not okay. mistaken, I think so. So you got the uh, Rugrats, which I actually did like the Rugrats. Oh, I used to love the Rugrats. Because <laughs> that's what everybody used to call all little badass kids. I never watched Twin Peaks, and everybody thought that was great. 21 Jump Street was the shit. Never seen it. What? 21 Jump Street? Never seen it. Shit. What? Uh, I've seen that. What about Doug? Y'all sleeping on Doug? The uh, cartoon? Yeah. Now, 21 that. Jump Street, by that time, I know people were like, what the fuck, Speed? Didn't come out then. It was in its fifth season. So just get that out there. What about Dinosaurs? I will. Wait, was that the mama? Not the mama. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I knew that was a black family, though. <laughs> not the mama. Or I thought they was a Mexican I used to love family. That. He did say not the mama. The dude was a construction worker. Oh, oh come on. The show The Rock. I mean, Rock. It wasn't called The Rock. Rock. So. 1991. 91. Jamie, get, we get a call. He get a call saying, yo, man, they, they want you to do a show called Rock. So he had auditioned for A Living Color, and we're still waiting to see if he's going to get it. I love him. And, uh. And so he gets rock. So I get the warm up to do rock. Well, I think Living Color was already going. So I get the warm up to do rock. And uh, Charles Dutton did not like comedians. He felt like comedians were were cutting corners to get in. Like you, you know, actors got to go to school. Right. Takes years. You do all the shit. You go to auditions. You get it. You don't get it. Whatever it is. And comedians and rappers were just coming in, taking their job. So when Fox showed up on set, he played, I forgot the little character, but it was, <laughs> his character was weird. And, <laughs> and Rock just, so when they yelled cut, he ain't talked to Fox, he ain't talked to none of us comedians. He just went his own, he just, he just wasn't about it. All right, but all right. Rock was a good show. And people were writing in because they felt like, okay, so those who don't know, being a trash man, on, you know, besides here, but pretty much across the United States was a good job. Right. Healthcare, the whole nine. So he was a trash man, so he would bring home trash. 
and they felt like, oh, really? Why the black man got to be a trash man? And why does he have to bring home the trash? Because he would find stuff, bring it home. His wife was like, get that shit out of here. He's like, nah, this is some good shit. Right. Because we would do that. You can resell it. <laughs> but people writing in, it was like, motherfucker, it's a it's sitcom. It ain't real. All right, real quick, I want you guys to pick which one has to go. These are just shows that started in 1991. Started in 1991. Yeah. Okay. All right. Jerry Springer, The Maury Povich Show, or 60 Minutes. Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer. I, I love Maury Povich. I need for the. Maury's the one that's like, sure are you the baby. father? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I make sure that's my baby. I like that one. Damn, we keeping Maury? I'll get rid of Maury. We don't need him. He's, don't he's need still Maury. on, isn't he? Yeah. Right. Of course. Maury's still rolling, man. Right. He, he, he got it Maury. set up now that when he do get out the way, they got it. I think the sister's probably going to take it over. All right, here we go. Let's do another one. One's got to go. One's got to go. Uh, these, are, these are TV series that aired throughout the 90s, pretty much. But we're most popular in '91. Um, Family Matters, oh, I saw that. Full House, or Married with Children. Full House. I don't know. I Full like house. them all. Yeah. Full House got to go. I never, I never watched Full House. Never. I still watch Fuller House on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> I have, you know what? what is Fuller House? The, it's them the as kids. adults, yeah. and they have their own kids, and they all living in the house like DJ and and uh, Kimmy. And her sister. And Olsen? Twins? The Olsen twins are the only ones that didn't sign on. So they always like they always crack digs at them in the middle of the show. Yeah, they, they did. <laughs> was it heroin or crack? One of them two. I'll Probably both. <laughs> yeah, it was all over that shit. That's where their money went. So they didn't want to do it. Hilarious. Nope. So they make fun of them throughout the series. Like, they crack like digs on them. Oh, wow. Right. That's fucked up. I, I like it. I like it, too. I ain't never seen it. I like the original yeah, Full House. Yeah. but Well, yeah. I, if I had to pick out the three, Full House got to go. Dude, Married with Children was funny. Dude, I was just watching Basketball Wives last night, and they did an 80s party. Uh-huh. And uh, I think Evelyn dressed up as uh, Peg Bundy. It was so funny. Yeah, she was she was super. But I like the fact that she was able to to not let that be her only show. I think she's on. Um, well, she's done several shows. No, but, I'm, that, but, but oh, gosh, what's that the show? The Motorcycle I, Show. She no, was on that. There's a show that I spoke about like two weeks ago. Oh, the, it's when they own the hotel. And um, there's like all this mafia stuff going on. I think she's in that show. Oh, and she's the one like in the Miami. mafia boss. The one in Miami. Yeah, because I, I was like, is that Peg Bundy? Because it kind of sounded like her a little bit. And then I was looking and I was like, I can't tell. All right. All right. So some of the top songs. Top songs. In 1991, starting like the number one song from old, from uh, 91, January 5th through the through the 12th, was Freddie Jackson, "Love Me Down." Then surface. With first uh, the first time, uh, Pebbles had a hot song in Vogue. Keith Sweat, shout out to Keith. Uh, <laughs> CNC, CNC Music Factory. I wonder what happened to that. Oh, I used to like that. Yeah, remember the Rude Boys? Let's see. Let's see. They had one song written all over your face, and they had Gerald Levert did the came in and sung with them, and the shit blew up. Can you see who had the one hit wonder in the ni- in ninety one? Them. Uh, uh, the Rude Boys. The Rude Boys. Yeah. That was the only hit. That That's was when Michael only... Jackson came out with Black and White. Oh, that might be the biggest Black song of the nineteen ninety one. No, the the uh, no no Keith Washington, kissing you. Keith Washington, the actor. No, uh, no, no. <laughs> like we doing an album with him. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Color me bad. You almost could say one a uh, one hit wonder. I wanna sex you up. Color me bad. They got at least two songs. Nope, they do, but. I just played a different I want to sex you up. Bad. Is 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 they hit? Uh, the uh, Dana Dane or da- Damien and Dane. They have one hit exclusive. Uh, high five. Not a one hit wonder, but yeah, they have problems. Oh, well, Brian Adams had the everything that I do. I do what? it for you. Oh, you must be on pop because I'm no. on R and B. I'm, I'm just on popular musicians. Period. Yeah, so you you uh, right. the Dessa Williams. Got some Mariah Carey someday. Shout out to Mariah Carey. I cannot do Mariah Carey. Shout I love Mariah. Mariah. I mean, I love Mariah Carey back in the day. I don't know about so much Joe to see <laughs> Forever My Lady. How about this? Tracy Spencer. Remember her? I have no idea who that is. <laughs> Tender Kiss. That was uh, her little hit. BB and CC Whining. I'll Take You There, which is a remake. And Shanice. She getting paid right now from that uh, that Drake song. What about Janet Jackson? She was was it Drake? No. No, no. Who, who did uh, Shani's song? Mm. Uh, when You Smile or uh, Love Your Smile. Oh, uh, Chris Brown. 
So those are the top songs. Matter of fact, this week, we go this week, oh, back then, would have been the top song, People Bryson. Can you stop the rain? Shout out to Peebo. Anyway, so we got a guest in the building. I'm going to bring the guest in. Tell the guest to come on in. Uh, I don't know where you went. But the, couldn't have went to the bathroom. You need the key. I don't know where you went. Your lights can't do it. You know? you can't be looking for the lights. <laughs> Tell S is the time to come on in. <laughs> All right, we got a guest in the building. Come on, my man. He, he right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap. Thank you for yeah, you you put take the seat here, brother. Hey, really quick guys, Shoot. um if you guys want to help us uh, here at the studio, it would really Do help what? if you guys um liked this video and then every time we go live if you liked it because it just ups us in the search engine which helps us to get more sponsors and ads and stuff. So if you yeah. guys could give us a quick like, that would be great. So the like does that? Yeah. The more likes you get, I can't explain it. It's like an algorithm, but the more likes you get, it's better Al for us. Algorithm? Yeah. And share algorithm. Al <laughs> algorithm. Algorithm. <laughs> algorithm, yeah. And then share it with your friends, too. Yeah. All right. Uh, you ready to turn that mic on? Yeah. I should, okay. In the house right now, kicking it with us at the table, we got... Inez Rome, everybody. My name Say is it again. Inez. Inez, Inez Rome. Rome. Inez and tell them your Rome. background, brother. Yes. Uh, my background is many forms of arts in general. I was a theater major at Florida A&M University. Oh, shit. Um, I've uh, done music with uh, a few different people older in the game. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, just oh, we got doing a little music. Trust me. These old they, motherfuckers listen to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Then they're going to they gonna really rock with who it is. Who um, is it? Leon Silvers, the old Silver. music group, the Silvers, everybody. Uh, Pop, Pops produce work from Lakeside to Shalimar, the Whispers, Dynasty, all from 80s to 70s. And when you look at that, like, 91, 92 range, he was also in uh, in Black Street's background. Now, what were um, you doing in 91? In 91, I was definitely getting my walking skills together. <laughs> the walking skills? He was getting his walking skills together, yeah. I'm, like I'm, two? I'm late 89, yeah. That's when you were born, 89? November 28th, 1989. Oh, shit, you were, yeah, man, you were two, three. Uh-huh, I be uh, tricking everybody. Same birthday as my big bro. Yeah, two. November 28th? Yeah, November 28th. Yeah, November yeah, 28th. Shout, out to, yeah, big shout out to your big brother, bro. Yeah. And uh, Deanna was what, 28th? 29th. Uh, yeah, shout out to my Day niece, too. Or oh, day okay. before is one of two. Uh, the two. They used to catch an L for that Christmas because you so close to Christmas, you might as well wait, I'll get your you, toys. I'll tell you straight up, I think I was the lucky one. No, oh, you got your I, boy. I got them toys in. I got Christmas toys. <laughs> oh, so you came up. <laughs> I was good. All right, so tell us what you got going on, man. So, um, recently I got connected with uh, Dame Dash. Dame Dash has been a big uh, catalyst for. It's really all been about mindset shift. Mm -hmm. I could talk about all the different opportunities I've gotten from dancing on stage mm -hmm. for the MTV Awards with, with The Rock this mm -hmm. past uh, mm -hmm. couple mu couple months ago. Um, and uh, Or even to, I mean, just being at the studio with, with Dame has been a learning experience. Mm -hmm. But now I'm hosting over there. I host a few different events. As oh, okay. Well as, uh, He's here in L.A.? Or is he yeah, here? it's right in Burbank. Oh, he's got a studio? Right in Burbank, Shut California. Up. A whole get, studio. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a... It's a like it's a, a compound? Network, mm -hmm. It's oh, a network dope. of independent artists. Um, my company is Blank Canvas. Okay. Blank Canvas takes and it gives a, a platform for different independent artists who really need that. And that's all they need. They, mm. they, they're not looking for anything else. People are able to um, move without the money to gain the money. If okay. you know what so I mean. artists like, like rappers, singers, or whatever you do. Musicians, yeah, musicians, comedians. Uh, I have a few sketch people I've linked up with. Um, mm. This Sunday we have a uh, a screening at the studio, mm. and it's of this female film writer named Jessica Lynn Diaz. She's been she's been really making her moves, and um, I premiered my screening there mm. in July. From that one thing, he was like, "All right, so we doing this every Sunday." You said, <laughs> <laughs> "I was like, shout out Dame uh, Dame. yeah, shout out Dame, man. He's he's really landed on his feet. That's dope, boy, boy, and and planted firm. Okay, just, just so if someone's firm. listening to the show and they're uh, YouTube, whatever it may be, they do. What? How do they reach out to you? And what do they? Oh do? yeah, um, follow me, catch me on uh, on Instagram. Actually, anything at. Anez, A N A Z R H O M E S C, or Anez Rome on 
Facebook. Nez Rome. Nez Rome. Nine, okay, so ninety one, you was barely trying to make something happen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying what? to, I was trying to reach for the cookies on the shelf. Okay. <laughs> That's about it. That boy was, that boy was reaching. <laughs> and where'd you grow up? Uh, Kansas City. Whoa. Kansas City. Is it Kansas City, Missouri, or Must, Kansas City, Kansas? Boy, you, See, you know, I know. You one of the good ones. Yeah, you I know. Feel me? <laughs> yeah, I'm on the Missouri side. Missouri side. Okay, a lot of people didn't know that it's Kansas City and Kansas City, Missouri. So which mm-hmm. one was Dorothy in? She was definitely in Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> she was. We got the Chiefs on our side. She was in. Uh, she well, you do like this. No Where's no. The, the barbecue <laughs> place? It's in Missouri. See? It's strongest in Missouri. You guys, please stop. What's, what's the stop name? It. Of, what's the name of the barbecue place? Uh, I forgot Gates. the name. Gates. Gates. Yeah. So I didn't know Gates had a. It's a school. Yeah. Like to work there, you had to go to their school and know how to. They have sell a whole that, but it's the best barbecue ever had. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. This it was fire. No, uh, it, it's so crazy that they've they've only been in one city and do amazing. Like yeah, they they kill. could have branched out if they wanted to. Yeah, like like what's that? Uh, Waffle House. Mm-hmm. You know, if you laugh to yourself, I'm we can still hear you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm made sorry. her think she's laughing and we ain't hearing the shit fucking laugh in the background. I can't. These people are crazy. Just say what they say. No, no, no. no. I read this shit. Oh, no, don't, yeah, don't, yeah, don't, yeah. Don't, don't, Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. please on. stop. No. Stop, stop. Move, move. Get your hand out the oh way. Oh, my God. All right. I see Sally. I saw. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Which one's funny? I don't see no funny Good. ones. I'm glad because they're I- all gone. <laughs> Essence. Which one was funny? Them to Put the mic to you, to S. Which one was funny? Turn the mic on. Nick. S is like, I don't want no party. Right, right. <laughs> She's oh. laughing through her glasses. Oh, Let's not go there. <laughs> How do you laugh through your glasses? Okay. What? Uh, Somebody said what? Are you prepared to be roasted, sir? Me? Yes. Uh, man, y'all no, tell no, me, no, tell no. him to come no, on no, with don't it. Don't do it. Man. Don't do it. <laughs> for eggs. <laughs> Stop! Right. Like that. I got you. I got you. I got you. I done heard it before. You good? So you good? Stop! I'm I'm gonna go ahead and let them rip. They are gonna hit you with Swiss beat. She gonna be laughing all day. Oh, yeah. They gonna hit you with Swiss beat. They, 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 they gonna hit you with I'll common. S- no, but it's funny because they're, they're saying stuff with... and they're like, her husband lets her leave the house in that shirt and then they'll go like back to like making fun of not you, man. <laughs> he he. They're he, all over the place. Okay, soon as they gonna run, they she run that house. <laughs> That's why she could lead the house how she want to lead the house. Listen, as uh, as a matter of fact, my husband's mother bought me this shirt. <laughs> FYI, they show me thinking what he said to model for eggs. She like we just gonna distract like, that's, from the roast. That's the funny shit I've ever heard. In my that's, fucking that was, life. that's what I was doing. That was actually. a joke. That was the first. That's, that's that was the, the funny shit I've one. ever heard. Nigga. That was the first model one for eggs. That's the first one I've got. Hick? Some somebody doing their work. Shout somebody out to Easter egg hunt. That one's funny. Somebody out If here y'all stop there, Google. nigga, I shut the shit down. Because oh. that's the funny shit I've ever heard. <laughs> Does he model for eggs? I didn't know people model for eggs, nigga. What, <laughs> what are you, a different egg? Or are you a... An <laughs> uh, oval egg? We got them round ones <laughs> now. They got them. You know the most reposted picture of all time on Instagram is an egg. Really? Huh? Yeah, really? It's a brown egg, too. That's what I thought. Why? It was funnier. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know, but but, that's the but I like the fact that that man, it's like, hey, nigga, I didn't hurt them all. What else you got? Common. Yeah, when we get them I'm, out the way, then get waiting. to the, Let's yeah, go ahead and run on them. Life Jennings, where you, where you, where you, where you go with it? Nigga, that's pretty funny. I know them all. That's I know them all. You, you can't surprise you, boy. <laughs> Modeling for eggs is the funniest thing. Are you here for the model egg? Come on, <laughs> right, right. And Shoot, your name I would is? model for eggs. Shoot, they pay right. <laughs> I can't even lie. Your boy get fresh. I'm, I'm, I hey. bet you I'm messing whoever said it up. <laughs> easily. Oh, they, e- easily kill. in the chat room ain't shit. Easily oh, you put kill. your phone in here. Man. And then you get. Oh, you sh- street. Yeah, there you go. Little, little contraption I made. Like, get them going. Get on in there. Sure. It is the rollout show. Yeah, that is. Why? Wow. It, it is a uh, throwback Thursday. We we asked, uh, but there's my man. Uh, he's born 89, so pretty much. He, <laughs> Young he gunner. Newbie. Young gunner out here. You know when mm-hmm. 91 is when Mike Tyson was arrested for raping that girl? Wow, that was. Right, 91. And that's where shit start falling apart, like a loose Halloween man. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. That and when he, is that Nick? What'd they say? What now? Somebody said he looked like the Peanuts from the Proud Family movie. <laughs> <laughs> from the what movie? <laughs> I, think I just, 
I just looked it up. Looked oh up what? Yeah, y'all the look up the peanuts from the Proud Family, the Proud movie. family movie. Y'all look them up. It was oh, a, the pr- it, they the had Proud a little family. takeover in the Proud Family movie. Yeah, when they was on the island. Yeah, the yeah. The fact that is you know this shit. You like, nigga, they hurt them all. Yeah, I'm going to bring a hat next time. <laughs> <laughs> they going to be mad. That was brave. They going to be mad. That was brave. They going to be like, damn, take that bit nah, off. Nah, when Wes going to take his hat off, what's what you do? Uh, dude, blaze with dude, When dude's blaze boy took his hat off, and he just sat on the table. I'm like, nah, man, you might want to <laughs> yeah, you might put that scratch back on. Put that back on, player. <laughs> Looking like Rafiki out here. <laughs> yeah, like every other braid. He had a braid missing, braid there. No. Braid missing. Oh, yeah, no. he had the locks. Shout out to my dude, dude, Blake. Well. <laughs> okay, yeah. what the fuck is Essence in? Made her cover up her glasses, she not her eyes. This. She keep reading this chat room. We know the chat room. Right. <laughs> she going. It's like new bait for y'all, too. <laughs> she, she like, oh, okay, this is a perfect day to come. <laughs> <laughs> That's our, our intern. Does it happen? That- it happens Go, often, yeah, like as soon as you get a new, as soon as you get a new person. Yeah, they. Oh yeah, the chat room. That's, oh, that's yeah, what they, they yeah, yeah. They, they don't hate regardless. Oh, yeah. don't if you could have came in with the hat on, they still. They, <laughs> now they wouldn't have said you model for eggs. If somebody just type in the word cashews. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allergic to cashews, by the way. You ain't allergic to the word. <laughs> hey, that's so I funny with no explanation next to it. Just type in <laughs> cashews. Yeah, that's. <laughs> That's savage. That's a good one. Man, I'm, I'm That's a good one. Oh, yeah, 1991. Oh, oh, back. oh, oh 91. Back Thursday. 90, 90, I apologize. Dude, good so good. I just read this story that happened in 91. I had no <laughs> idea, and it was in New Jersey. Oh, what? And it was in Ridgewood, which is where the group home was, which was even crazier. But there was a U.S. postal worker named jo- uh, Joseph, and he killed his ex-girlfriend and his and her fiancé and two co-workers at the oh, post yeah. office. Oh, yeah, that's... That's when, and it was like a string of them. Like, I don't know if that's, that's when they started, but I know <laughs> like that was the, the post was office, that for was some reason, one. became a place of nigga, going postal. That's go, where going postal yeah, came go from. Go get your stamps, get the fuck out of there. Do you, right. do you, are you think that has something to do with um, like their pensions? No, it was their the pensions. work. It was the work they had to do. That's what the guy was you saying. You think it just tedious and you just yeah. get to that? No, but he killed his ex girlfriend and her. Yeah, but fiance. he was still was, mad at somebody. Well, yeah, because he killed two Because he went back to the thing. And and I think it was their workload, and they what they started to do was take because because not only you had to, you had to put your mail in the box that morning, mm-hmm. then take it out the box, put it in your in your bag, go deliver it, come back, and do it all over again for for the next day. So he he killed That's them crazy. both. Well, the work. Well, not, the, not, the, nobody cheated. Nobody I would assume the girlfriend was probably the cheat. Well, no, like he killed the girlfriend yeah. and her, her fiance, affair. and in addition, two coworkers. Which means so it's four people. His fire, huh? He killed four people. No, no, you said her fiance. Yeah. But you just said his girlfriend. His ex girlfriend. Yeah, he was. I'm upset. I don't have my girl. She's about to move on without me. Right. And the motherfuckers at my job are laughing at me. Got I got to get everybody. So, you're kill everyone. so don't kill me. You don't have to kill And then I'm going to go get some eggs. Hey, all all this happened in Ridgewood. Yeah. But Ridgewood's like basically like the Beverly Hills of New Jersey, which is crazy. I know, I know. I speak of New Jersey or here in New Jersey. I think of uh, North something Plains. Uh, White Plains, White Plains. Plains. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So and you weren't near there, right? No. And Jersey Shore is totally. Jersey Shore is so dirty and disgusting. But that's totally. But I love the show. <laughs> away from where you were. Yeah, that's about two hours. And what about Atlantic City? That's about two hours, also. Well, an hour yeah. and a half. Yeah, I, I didn't like Atlantic City because I didn't, I didn't like how you had Atlantic City and then you had right there, not to the left, not further down the street, you had the ghetto. Well, you had the projects was right I there. Mean, it, yeah. And they didn't put any money into that. Right. Mm-hmm. But if you've said, been to Vegas and go there, you're like, what is this, this place? But is they far still away. they still, you know, make the rest of Vegas look nice. Yeah. You have to go way out the way of Vegas. But it's not from fun. the strip. It's not mm-hmm. fun like Vegas. No, Vegas is fucking hilarious. I love Vegas. Do that shit. Oh, you know what else happened in ninety one? What's that? Police brutality captured on film in California with the case of Rodney King getting arrested. Shout out to Rodney that King. Was that was 91. They beat the brakes off that boy, 91. too. Right. They Man. beat the brakes off Rodney King. And yeah. every black dude went, I told you. Because we were, people would tell, hey, man, they beat They were like, hey, what did you do? You did something to the police officer. Right. Right. And they beat him. They say but we knew that. Wait, Duh. is that Duh. when, um, who, who, remember that song, F the Police? Is that when that, that came was, out? That was before that. that. was before that. Yeah. yeah. But it was motivated. All that stuff. But right. all that stuff had been happening up mm-hmm. until that time. That was just the it's first just, time that somebody family. caught it on camera. And this is when he had the big And the white dude right. got in trouble. Cameras. Remember, they went through his whole life and fucked yeah. his shit up. Mm-hmm. 
And yeah. that was right over there by where uh, the kid's mom used to live. I remember being a kid um, in L.A., and I stayed right where the riots, like a few blocks from where the riots started. And I remember looking over my balcony and seeing people run out the gas station with yeah. everything. It was like one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah uh, the, Reginald Denny was beat up on 88th and Normandy right over there. Yeah, he got popped with that breakout there, boy. Again, I didn't understand him in the 18-wheeler, and how'd you get snatched out? You know, you locked the door. Give a fuck what, and then you drive through some people. I'd have drove through everybody on that block. But you know, when you watch scary movies, you know, and you hear something, and why you do go look out the window, that and all it. the black people are like, nigga, why are you? I think that's just their nature, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> see black dudes in the road. Like, let me get out the car and see what's yeah, going on right. with these guys. Or you hear that sound, who's there? We don't even do that. And, and then our, our instinct be the, did he get got? <laughs> okay. Hey, nigga, told you don't get out all the right, car. I told you, make it right. Yeah. All right, so let's see. This is all from 1991. All right, so who was in who was in the Rose Bowl in nineteen ninety one? In the Rose Bowl, yeah, was that an athlete? Can it g- give me some oh, options? No. Give me some options because mm-hmm. I can't. Notre Dame. I don't know. Duke, I'm gonna say that's one. Washington, Iowa, or USC. I'm what are, they, are these like teams? Else. No, these are helmets. What the fuck? <laughs> like football team? I don't. I don't yes. even do sports. College football. All right, I'm checking out. Nineteen ninety one. No, don't check out. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm going to go Washington, SC. That's pretty close. It was Washington, Iowa. Oh. Washington won 46 to 34. Who was on that team? I don't know. I don't watch college football at all. Okay. What all about right. <laughs> Let's see. Um, now, which that would have been that would have been right around New Year's Eve. So that would have been January. I know the NCAA one. I know that one. Okay. Okay. Uh, 1991. He was three, but he said he knew. A hockey player scored his 700th goal. Who was it? That's in 1991. Oh, NHL. I'm going to go with the white boy. Uh, that's, that's the whole NHL. Can you give us multiple back. choice? Uh, <laughs> I don't know that many hockey players, <laughs> <laughs> Shelly. Uh, I'm going to go any. Wayne Gretzky. That's the, this is not really fair. This is the only white. This is the only hockey player anybody knows. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, Pretty so, much. Yeah, well, so it is Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, that's he got saying. all the records in hockey, by the way. By that, yeah. Him and, uh, yeah, a lot. There some people now I got some. But I can't pronounce their names. All right, let's see. Um... I mean, teachers and hockey players got the weirdest names. <laughs> Salaka Vaka Donovan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wanted to be an announcer in basketball, but I knew once I got to that Russian dude, a Serbian oh, that's on the team. And hey, give it over number 50. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say his fucking name. Right. <laughs> you gotta and wait. 50 makes another basket. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Waiting for the coach to shout yeah, it out. <laughs> <laughs> and his name is Slavinsky. Yeah, give it up for Sermon. <laughs> Still Mystic. I'd have had his brother there to say his name every time he made a basket. Facts. What you got? All right, hang on. I got some more for you. I'm trying to. I'm trying to pick a topic that hopefully you guys. Know well, Shelly tapped out on sports. Well, anyway, wait. So <laughs> no, 90, was 91 um, when the earthquake happened here? Yes. Mm. 1991. Uh, I just moved. I just moved to the valley in '90. So I've been living in L.A. all my damn life. Moved to the Valley, and I get an apartment in North Hollywood. Come home late night, got a little, little, little something, something with me. Get upstairs, we like fall girl asleep. Or drugs? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> something, something could be a hot babe, or it could be drugs. Something, or something. <laughs> so we get upstairs, <laughs> sleep. It's probably two, three in the morning, and I felt like somebody took my apartment building, picked it up, shook it like a shake, mm. set it back down. Did that scare you out of the Valley? No. Scared me that day because when I, I get downstairs, everybody in the building holding hands because nothing works. Right. Every, all electricity is out as far as you can see it. Come by out up. Come outside, and I, I'm thinking it's the end of the world. Yeah, this is, right. I would you know, too, you hear about. I'm like, what well, is right. it? I said, this <laughs> right. is what. The end of, so, so the whole valley is blacked out. No street lights work. No, no lights on the street. Nothing works. Everything is zipped out, and you keep driving, driving, driving. I call my mom. She's like, she wake up. Well, what you call me? I said, "How you feel an earthquake? What earthquake?" Oh, oh man. So she was in Carson though. Oh, okay, okay. So Carson's a little ways from here. Right. So I drove all the way to my mom's house. As I'm driving there, didn't see the lights are on, but yeah. the valley completely dark in 1991. My we got son- a phone call. Oh. Oh, go ahead. No, what? my son's grandmother lived, I think, in Woodland Hills this area. Yeah. They lost their whole house. Yeah. Like mm. it went down. Uh, we got a phone call. Call her. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Call right back. Call it. They just hung up. Oh, hung up. Sorry. Yeah, took too long. Sorry. Wait, they're saying the earthquake was in 94, Speedy. No, 91. It was an earthquake, was in, 91. earthquake in 91. It was an earthquake in 91. I mean, there's 91. earthquakes here almost every day. And there's another day. one in 94. Yeah. Okay. What was that one? 
same day, and this wasn't sugar. It's loud because it's under the ground. It's like a, a real earthquake will make you give up on life instantly. Because yeah, like- it's not being in control, which is pretty much any natural disaster. You're not in control. I, I, no, but I've never the, been Fourth in- of July we had, like to me, was a big earthquake because I've never no, experienced not, any earthquake I'm, here. That's what I'm saying. Kansas. I was City, literally we crying. Don't have none like, I was crying. So you have uh, we got tornadoes. tornadoes. We got tornadoes, but even them, you could watch from two miles. Like, oh, that shit gonna get somebody. Well, they said in '91 there were 70 like, tornadoes in the U.S. 70. That's a lot. Now, what is in New Jersey? Are you still laughing? What maybe. the fuck are you still laughing about? <laughs> maybe hurricanes. You know, it's nothing really. Okay. Oh, or the what's the when the water comes up uh, or tidal, not a tidal tsunami? Water. No, <laughs> I don't know. You said when the water comes. <laughs> because your Jersey Shore, you're by the shore. I mean, That's remember, I'm remember not when? By the shore, remember when Atlantic City almost got wiped out? Yeah, hur- Hurricane Katrina. Hurricanes, yeah. I said mm-hmm. Hurricane. Yeah. yeah. What Katrina? But. All right, quick trivia question for you guys. What two NBA basketball teams were in the finals in 1991? Come on, oh, man. Chicago and the Lakers. Chicago and Sounds the Lakers. New. Correct. Who won? Uh, Chicago. <coughs> All right. Now, here's Lakers. that. Lakers. That was that, that, was that shot Jordan when, when hands Jordan on. switched hands. Yeah. Cold which, move in the playoffs. Which I don't know <laughs> why, <laughs> but he was, it was the hang time. No, he <laughs> said, okay, because I watched the interview. He said, that, I forget the big man that was in the paint, but he said he, previous to that play, he had blocked two shots. Mm. So when he went in the air, he went with the intention that he was going to jump and oh. block. So he he went with that intention. When he didn't, he just finished the move. Mm. You know, but he had all that time to think. Yeah. All right. So Jordan was on the ring of winning scoring titles at this point, up until the point he won his first championship. Mm-hmm. So the question is, how many scoring titles did Michael Jordan have in 1991? Scoring titles. Yeah, I think he came in the league 85, 86, or 84, 85. I'm gonna go. No. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna go with three. That's a good number. I'm going to go over, under, they, let's go they, over. I'll give you a hint. They also reached a franchise record in games one that year, which is 61. So he was on a real scoring tear that year. I will go four scoring titles. Close to no cigar. What is it? Michael Jordan has it. That was his fifth consecutive scoring, yeah, scoring title. That is ridiculous. Yeah, shout out to MJ. Even before Ball. he had the first title, and, it was and, still a and problem, problem. The Lakers could have won that game, but I think once they saw it was Chicago – because Chicago had gotten beaten by Detroit, Boston. So they had run it because they ran into the button. You was talking about Larry Bird. And Larry Bird, I don't know who said it, but at the game, uh, in the playoff game, I think Jordan had 60 something, Bird had 50. And they all they talked about was magic. I mean, it was, Bird, it was uh, uh, Michael Jordan having some 64 points. <laughs> Larry Bird said, but we won the game. <laughs> and that made, and, and I even think for Jordan, that made him go. Oh okay. shit! It ain't about me scoring points. Did y'all see the uh, the? I was watching it the other day. They had like a little five minute clip. You know they got them on mm-hmm. on Facebook and stuff. Where Magic Johnson and um, I think it was Patrick Ewing or something. No, Pat Magic Johnson and Larry Bird knew Jordan had taken over. It was like oh, during yeah. one of the oh, one yeah. of the. <laughs> well, ni- ninety one. Ninety one, I think. One? I think ninety one is when it was a wrap. They were in rehearsal, and and, 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 and I think it was like a new share. The Lakers was nice that year, and if I not, wasn't wasn't Magic hurt or somebody was hurt as well that year, or Magic twist something happened Magic that year in ninety one. We ain't giving Magic no excuses. Jordan took it from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's all it was. Took the next Jordan. three. Snatched that. Shout out to MJ. Then went and sat down for two. Came back, got the next and two, three more after three that. Three more after that. Are right, you come back in? <laughs> Whoops. No, because you know what? I said Hurricane Katrina, and I'm like, I know it wasn't Hurricane Katrina. Yeah, I don't know why Jer- you said no, that. but there was a hurricane in New Jersey that like wiped out the Jersey Shore. Yeah, and so I remember. I, I can't remember the name of it, so I was trying to find it. I know, I know. I said I said the wrong one. Maybe you know this, Shelly. 1991, March 3rd. Who was the world champion boxer, heavyweight champion boxer? 1991, March 3rd. Well, it wasn't Mike Muhammad Tyson, world Ali? champion I don't know. boxer. Well, he asked you because you you should know, and if you should know, it should be easy then. So if it ain't Mike, is it Muhammad? Seventh round TKO. Well, that's not when Mike got knocked out, was it? I'm asking you. Mike Tyson. I'm gonna go with Mike Tyson by uh, uh, Buster Douglas. Nope. Who was it? Evander the Holyfield fought George Foreman. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't know. For the heavyweight title. <sighs> Shouts out to Evander the whole I don't know why. He did. I wouldn't know no, who route. won that fight. George? Uh, it says George Foreman retained his uh, yeah. 
But I remember watching the fight. If you watch the fight, if you like boxing, Holyfield put on an amazing display of yeah. boxing. But yeah. you can clearly see that every time George Foreman hit him, it was like bricks hitting somebody. Yeah, uh, and, and you got to remember, too, that uh, uh, Holyfield was really a light heavyweight. He moved up to heavyweight, but his I don't think his frame ever really became a heavyweight frame. Mm-hmm. He just mm-hmm. was able to put on a little bit more weight to move oh, up. Sandy Not like right George. George was like, yeah. Mm-hmm. George, George was heavyweight day heavyweight. one. They were they they trying like, to get him down. Yeah, to heavyweight. He was heavyweight when he was ten. <laughs> That's right. It was Hurricane Sandy. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Listen, I have ADD. I have ADD. Right. What exactly does that mean? I get sidetracked and like I can't pay attention. Like you'll talk about something and I'm like over here. Yeah, you were doing that just a minute ago. Right. So I do that all the time. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, man. Uh, do you guys know? <laughs> I'm apologizing. Who won the NFL championship Super Bowl game that year? For 1991, the Chicago Bulls won the basketball, football. Was it the Bears? <laughs> the Bears. The no. Bears. No, that was nine. That was 85. I've been saying where Chicago would win. No, 85. From two sports in one year. Okay, give me yeah, those, those some hints. Uh, ninety-one. Uh, okay, okay. This is this is interesting. I hate you. <laughs> it was Green Bay. There was it was two teams from the same <laughs> region. What does this even mean? Was was Green Bay in it? No. Uh, These are two teams that are extremely close <laughs> locations. I don't get it. Extremely close in locations. <laughs> I'm crying. So this somebody <laughs> said, ask your guest, does he get death threats on Easter? But I don't understand what that means. Because he, he models for eggs. So. <laughs> no, that one was a reach. That one was a reach. They going to crack <laughs> eggs on Easter? Nigga, that's hilarious. Oh there's, so many, there's, so many, there's so many levels to the joke. It was. It was a good one. It was, somebody it was said, good one, but y'all give us a heads he up. Like, uh, <laughs> it's like he the like cashew really joke. Really I thought the cashew thing was the funniest cashew thing. Cashew was classy. Yeah. Like I just looked know. up and started laughing. I said, damn, that's pretty funny, nigga. It was a picture of the cashew. It's like, <laughs> all right. So what? What, what team? What two teams were in the uh, Super Bowl, nineteen ninety-one? The Giants. Ooh. Was it right? Shelly got one of them right. Ooh. And the Giants won, so that would be Giants <laughs> and not Cleveland. Nineteen ninety-one. Uh, Giants. Yeah, he Giants said won. same region. I think the Giants won in nineteen ninety-one. No, they won two. The two times they went. Ninety-one. Did you tell it? Because the second one they won would do <laughs> grab that ball on his helmet. That's how I knew they were going to win. I forgot. Oh shit! Who was it? The Buffalo Bills. Mm. Oh, the Bills had went four times in a row. Yep, didn't win one. Didn't Did win they? one. They got to shoot they oh, went four. Savage, yeah. they, they went, went four, four in, a row. in a row and didn't win one. And to this day, uh, Kelly, Jim Kelly, still says that's his biggest regret. Because all you got to do is win one. Just one. Just win one. To go four times and not win <laughs> in a row. It wasn't like he went four this week, this year, and took a year off. And this is also interesting, too. The MVP of the game was from the losing team, right? Actually playing oh, for the Bills. Anybody know who it was? No, that I don't, don't know. I'm going I, cause I don't back think, a quarterback. I don't think no, that happens. I feel like this has only happened once or twice. Who was it? Uh, Thurman uh, Thomas. Oh. oh, the running back. Oh, yep. yeah, he had a great game. He had a great game. I can't remember how many times a he, losing I think he cried, won. if I'm not mistaken. It don't happen often. I think he cried. Of His course. Name, he was in tears. Okay, what NBA player won the NBA Finals uh, most valuable player and lost? I don't know, but that sucks. Who won that same MB- year? Who won the MVP <laughs> no, no, in the same finals? Year or in the finals. Who won the MVP in the finals? But and their the, team lost. And their team lost the championship. To my knowledge, there's only been one player in the history. Michael Jordan. Nope. He, ain't Michael, never, he, he ain't never lost. lost. That, was a great guess, that boy undefeated, lost. undefeated. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal. I'm going to go with LeBron James. No, but he should have won that year that they oh, lost. Oh, that they lost to San Antonio. He, he should have won. LeBron should win MVP every year he in the yeah. playoffs. What are you talking about? Man. So it wasn't Shout him. Shout out to Bronny. <laughs> nope. Can you throw some names? Give me, th- give me okay, four. Okay, this is, this is from yeah, the – if I give you the proper uh, – let's say this is – from the time from the 60s and 70s. Oh, I wasn't oh. even born yet. That doesn't count for me. I know. That's why you got to be up on your, on your game right there. Yeah, 60s and 70s. Um, one-time champion. He actually won a championship. Uh, I think top 10 all-time scoring, if I'm not mistaken. 
Oh, he might he might have slid out of the top ten by now, actually. We looking at like Hakeem. Charles Barkley. We looking at Nope. Charles Barkley's a good guess though. Malone's a good guess. Tim Kareem. Duncan's a, somebody said Tim Function. Nope. Jerry oh. West. Jerry freaking oh, West. Who did Jerry West? Uh, they Houston. lost to Boston. I think when he hit the half court shot to send him to overtime. When he got the nickname Mr. Clutch. This is before the three point line was invented. Got it. No, so right. they were down uh two points. And he hit it he hit it from the half court, which would have put him up three and they would have won. But they went to overtime and ended up losing. Mm. Shout out to Jay West. The, the logo. One of the coders. The logo. The, definitely one of the colors that knowing talent. Which for some teams is th- they don't have the right scouts. You gotta get the right scouts. You gotta know talent. He knows talent. He can see it and go, that guy's gonna be whatever. Mm-hmm. Stop reading. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is the rollout show. We hear my man Ness, who works with uh, Damian. Dame da- Maybe Dash. get him on the show, man. Can get yeah, him. of course. Of course, we could get him on. The yeah, show. yeah, tell Dame Dash we all I'm about black business over here. Right yeah. And look, I see him all the time at the weed shop. So if he try to play the rollout <laughs> show, I'm gonna pull up on him. <laughs> to all that black business Come shit on, you was man. talking. We get man, Dame Dash we, on the uh, show next week. Come on, you bring him through. Fans will go crazy. They won't call you the egg. And this, that's, that's hilarious. Damn. Somebody <laughs> gonna somebody gonna watch is gonna pop up. Yeah, we're definitely still gonna call them that. <laughs> somebody <laughs> gonna say that shit. I'm all right, all right, last sports question. Uh pops is for you because I know you're a baseball fan. World series. Shit. Who won? The Do- Yankees. Dodgers. Nope. Yankees? Nope. The Mets? No. Each you gonna name all the teams now? <laughs> Pretty much. I, I just named the East all Coast. All the ones teams. on the East Coast. Right. <laughs> no, I uh, Phillies. <laughs> no, close. It was the Minnesota Twins against oh. the Atlanta Braves. All right, who was the MVP? I play for Minnesota. I don't give a fuck what you. You can say their name. I'm still saying no. Come on, man, Jack Morris. You don't know who that is? No. Come on, man. You talk, you're a baseball fan. I am, but I'm a Dodger fan. Like till the wheels fall off. Yeah, I yeah, think, and with, they're going back again. I think with, uh, with 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 black people, it's more of where am I from when it comes yeah. to baseball. Yeah, it's like I, not too many people I know, brothers. Love I can I can watch baseball I can watch the first game of the season, and then all the way through to 162 games. All right, look real quick. I got to see if y'all know this. Ask her some girl question because she's out. Of well, real quick, this would be real quick. It's <laughs> a girl question. He says um, she's out of there. Who won the Naismith College Player of the Year award in '91? '91. You guys should know this because this was a very popular team, almost as popular as the, the uh, Nace, Michigan team. Nace, that would be. And think of think of a college team. basketball. Think of college it's basketball. Duker. Duke or Kansas? Think of 1991. I'm going to give you a hint. 91, they had the same energy as that Michigan team. So there's only been three teams I can think of like this. The Michigan team, this team I'm talking about here. Which would have been Duke. And it's not Duke. It's an oddball. It's not Duke. And you got to think, they had three players. One went top. I'm sure he went top five in the draft. I'm sure he went top five. He was a, he was a monster. Won the slam dunk competition. And not talking Kemp? Think of who came out in 91. No, Kemp didn't no. go to college. No, power forward, small oh. forward. Hi, he was a highlight film in college. And not from Duke. Not from Duke. From the, Actually, he went to school on the West Coast. What would be considered the West Coast? Not California and all that. but uh, Chris Webber. That's very close. Oh, yeah, that's he, what the chat room said. No. They wrong. Because I don't know who shout any out, of these people are. Shout out. You to, fuck up and they got the internet. Shout out to. Latner. Uh, I'm surprised you guys didn't get this. What is it? Uh, shout out to Grandma Ma. Big oh, dog, UNLV. Big dog Larry Johnson. Mm. They did have a squad. Yes. And Wedge comes from Pasadena. <laughs> yep. Uh, they had, oh, they had a he squad. He won the Naismith player, uh, College Player of the Year Award. Duke actually won the, the yeah, championship that year. Yeah, because Duke gave them the business. They they wasn't used to them, the pick and rolls and pump fakes. He beat the brakes off them boys. And, and, all right, who, and come on, I'm only asking this because this is another historical basketball moment. Who won the dunk competition in 1991? And he practically won it before he actually dunked the ball. That should give you a hint. Wasn't Larry Johnson? Nope. That that's on some con. Before uh, he dunked, Kemp before he vibe. dunked the ball, he had it in the bag because oh. of the antic that he did in 1991. Dude, they're saying every clue you give is wrong, Nick. I don't give a. <laughs> f- that's why I don't read the chat. That's why we ain't getting it. <laughs> well, they ain't getting it. They I'm not gonna get it. You ain't getting it. Right. It doesn't matter what clue you give. I'm I, not gonna I don't get know it. who is it. Uh, D Brown when he pumped the kicks up. Remember he stepped oh, back, pumped the kicks up, man, and took off with his and the sale the for them shoes went off the roof. They were the Reebok pumps, 
And at the time, they were like, hey, man, I'm not buying no shoe to pump up. What, around my ankle? Because that's pretty much it, it. The tongue of it pumped, and around your ankle got a little tighter, which, you know, it's cool, I guess, whatever. And right before he got ready to dunk, he pumped his, his and then he then he did the, the put his arm. Ah, yeah, put, did that. And Shout did out nice. to D. Brown for that that's one. That's right. That's right. And uh, last, I hate to end on a sad note, but last but not least, in sports news, in 1991, Matthew Johnson also announced he was yeah. tested positive for HIV, the virus that calls. I was. AIDS. I'm telling you exactly where I was. I'm riding. I'm. A, I was a limo driver, so I was. In, I was just starting comedy, so I didn't want to work. So I said, "Well, I could be a limo driver, and I can keep still do my comedy at night." Somebody right. said, "Hetty Griffin." <laughs> <laughs> I'll back. So you, you was limo driving? Go ahead. <laughs> so I was limo driving. So I'm going down Prairie because I got to pick up a client. <laughs> and I'm at the light. Got him listening to the radio. I'm listening to Power 106. And, or no, I'm like, one of them channels, I think it was uh, 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 The Beat. That's what it was. And they go, uh, Magic Johnson is going to do an announcement at 12 o'clock. And I'm like, is Magic made an announcement? Like, about so, but it, every rate, And then he comes on. And he goes, I'm retiring from the NBA. And I'm like, what? The? But first they said, you know, because he contracted AIDS. Mm-hmm. But but he had to come back and say, no, I didn't get AIDS. And I got the H and the I. I didn't get the V. Hey, so <laughs> hyper- the same to me. hypothetically right. speaking, and this is a, uh, I think it's a good question. So being that Michael Jordan finally kind of came to his, you know, full bloom at that time, 91 won his first championship. If, you, if Magic Johnson did not contract HIV. Mm. Or didn't even say it. How do you think that pans out for the he, next he five years? Goodness oh. gracious. Magic would have got another ring, I think. I think it turns into what happened now earlier. Like right now you got so many dominant players, mm-hmm. you, you can't really like – you can coin LeBron because he's been doing it for so long. But right. at the same time, as far as talent and skill, you would have had so many people that – Everyone would have had to switch up how they play. Like now, or, or I think a lot more people would have went to the Lakers to play with Magic to get a ring. Because you true. know, if you get there, you go. He gonna get Magic gonna get you that ring. What year did the shot come in? Ninety three. Yeah, something like so that. So Magic would have still been on that team. Oh my goodness! If uh, Shaq came in the league in ninety three, so they could have sure? dra- they could have drafted Shaq. Yeah. Shaq, no. came in, Shaq had to come in ninety three, ninety four. C oh, Webb came God. in before him. No, C Webb came it in was, after him because they like drafted Shaq first. The second year they drafted Chris Webber and oh, traded him. Oh, that's Randy right. And they traded him to uh, Golden State. Yeah. They should have oh, kept yeah. C Webb, too, on that. that the, but they kept saying we're going to play. C- but, but C Webb played center at Michigan. And they figured he was going to play center at Orlando. So why you need two centers? But if you put him at the power forward, y'all would have. You'd got your ring. You'd have got a ring. Yeah. Fast. I'm sorry, Shelly. You, we keep hitting the sports shit. What about any uh, any models? How about any. I'm, I'm what happened in uh, entertainment? Yeah. yeah. It's got to be something with a girl. The girl that fell. What was her name? Uh, the girl that the, fell. It's a girl that fell in 91. I'm pretty sure. Fell what? In the runway? Know. On the ice skating ring? Somewhere. Like. Fashion wise. <laughs> what was the hot fashion in 91? Oh, shit. I thought you fell out your goddamn oh, shit. Right. I know. I, was, I froze too. I was like, hey, what, what happened? And I can't pick you up. If you All right, so let's check out the fashion twin, fashion trends in 1991. I'm seeing a lot of colors happening. Uh, I'm seeing a lot that, of that would be because Jodeci was wearing the big jacket. I'm seeing big floral jeans. jeans. Do you guys remember the floral jean prints? Floral jeans. Yeah. yeah. See the okay. What about that? Why did everybody pants were so high on their waist? What was, oh, what was going on? I don't know. But yeah, no, was, was it 91, Living Color? I was still. Yes, like, yes. Cross like colors. Diaper yeah. fashion. I was in diaper fashion. I think uh, <laughs> I think Carl Kanai was in. Only thing unique Carl was Kanai. the colors. Yeah, Carl Kanai was a Was Carl Kanai in? I did, I did an ad for Carl Kanai. Shout out to Carl Kanai. What the fuck haven't you done? <laughs> Hey, Every time we mention something. Hey. Was FUBU strong in the 91? I don't think so. I think Not FUBU yet. might be 98. Yeah, it was further down because L had his show. And I'll tell you a fun fact about FUBU that made LL Cool J a legend. So right before uh, FUBU launches, LL Cool J gets hired to do a, um, a Gap ad. Mm-hmm. So he actually does a rap in the Gap ad. So if anybody watches the ad, he has a FUBU hat on. Mm-hmm. Why he's doing a Gap commercial. That which, was, which was one of the biggest exposures you can do because Gap was one of the top brands. Fact. So right after he did that commercial, they launched FUBU. And he was the brand ambassador for FUBU. That's a player move right there. Shout All right, so I'll let you know what was going on in Kansas City. We were still catching up on black things in Kansas City. <laughs> <laughs> that's what was happening in the 91. That's Wait a minute. That's when everybody's wearing the medallions. African. 
Okay, yeah, cross colors. Yeah, is popping. yeah. Uh, so, so everybody went back to the heritage. We stopped. We took off the gold chains because uh-huh. you're coming into because going out of the '80s into the '90s, we were being more conscious about what we we're wearing, and and everybody stopped because you know Turkish chain, rope chain. Everybody's wearing that in the '80s. As you go into the '90s, nah, brother, you want to get the so you had the black power fist, you had the uh, African. The continent of Africa on your on the thing, so you, because that reminds me of all the, the rap groups that was going up. Uh, we got a phone call. Caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? This is me, Speedy. About time. This friend. I thought the Tim said it was seven o'clock. Shit. Well, we will be. Oh, y'all coming back? No, no, not, not tonight. <laughs> in the future. Yeah, that's what we, we made an announcement earlier when we started the show that just so you guys give it you guys a heads up. Starting yeah. next week, we're gonna start having a show at night as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So but just so you guys know. Jodeci boots. Yeah, the Jodeci, the Timber. With the big ass jeans and a jean jacket. Yep, because people, because they would, it got so bad in our school that they was like, "Look, y'all ain't Jodeci. Stop wearing it." <laughs> <laughs> we, we, L.A. just didn't do Tims. That wasn't our shit. Even though at one time it was. Don't ridic- be hating on no Tims. We just that wasn't our shit. We had no reason that we wore sneakers. Ugh. What was yeah. the top sneaker See, in ninety one? The, the men wore Tims. No I'm looking at all the nah, shoes. They was wearing dry. Jodeci boots. Yeah, Jodeci, <laughs> yeah, the motherfucker. Or you had the, uh, or you had the combat boots. Oh, in, the, in Chicago, you look like a damn fool walking around in the summertime wearing boots. So, mm. I mean, that's L.A. L.A. They be walking around in UGGs in the summertime. Yeah, that's real. The season don't change, yeah, though. Right. Cause, uh, <laughs> what were you doing in '91, Vernon? Were you born? Yeah, you born? How old is he? So yeah. Oh. Well, oh he's only so what was he doing in Chicago? Acting a fool. He didn't even weed. Doing what I was yeah. doing basically was playing softball every day from. Nigga, did you say softball? Don't go there. You said you used to play softball, so yeah, you but that was later oh. on. Like, I ain't played when I was ten. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I was outside doing sports. No, 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 no. no. nigga, it matters. Nigga. Be nice. No, nigga, no, nice. no, it matters. Nigga. <laughs> you know playing chairs ain't well, sports, nigga. Well, you know what? Stop. We was playing from 10 o'clock in the morning to like, no, from 12 o'clock in the afternoon to, to like, till we couldn't even see the, till we couldn't even see the ball no more. We used to play softball all cooking. day long. So, Vern, did you, you, you grew up in the suburbs or you grew up in like Chicago, Chicago? I ain't, I ain't grew up in no suburbs. No, Cabrini no, Greens, no. all that shit. No, Greens is not a suburb. I know that. I'm saying, did you grow up in, on that side of town? I was there. Why are you and so scared to say it? Are you in a witness <laughs> protection program or something? I was also there in the south side of Chicago, so you didn't oh, want okay. to stay there for too long. You didn't want to stay in the green for too long. Oh, okay. So you know what I'm talking about. Where, where, mm-hmm. Okay, so where was Good Times? Good Times was on, if, I was, if I'm not mistaken, that was on uh, the other side of the expressway on 47th. Oh. On the other side of the expressway, because that's where they had the um, they had those homes at which they tore down. Okay, they're not there no more. Hell no, they tore all that shit down. They, they tore your house down. And everything up there now. All right, thank you, Vern. All right, took you long enough. Uh, so I'm just now looking up the. You guys will see it pop up on your side. The top shoes in the that came out in 1981. Not TV. Uh, I know. I'm, you gotta look at your pad right there. I'm finna, it's gonna show up on the screen right there. If if I had to pick a shoe. That I think was probably the most popular was the Air Force 180. Um, they were kind of like a remodel of the Barclays that came out. Oh, the Bar! I always liked the Barclays shoes. Yeah, I think the I 180s was probably the hardest shoes in 1991. If you had, what were you guys wearing? In, you said Kansas. Mm-hmm. What were you guys wearing in Kansas? What's the, what's the, what's the go-to shoe out there? Well, he was too honestly. Mm. Well, no, in general, everybody was everybody was, he was wearing doing, booties. Every, <laughs> Hilarious. Everybody was doing whatever the TV say. Like everybody was going for the Jordan vibe. Um, oh, okay. Like they they were going for the name brand stuff, but if you only heard about name brand, you don't know the in between. Oh, them was like, beast. I love them because they had that. Oh yeah, those are great shoes to play ball in. Wait, so, like Nike. N- so, Nike. I was an Adidas kid. I've always been an Adidas kid. But y'all don't have like a staple shoe. Like in, for example, California is you know uh, Converse. Depending mm-hmm. on where you at in LA, because oh, yeah. northern side Church. of uh, California wears uh, K Swiss. I mean. St. Louis, they rocking Jays. If you, okay. you can find a, I thought St. Louis was Air Force One. Mm. I thought Nelly sold that out with the Air Force. Hey man, it's it's been it's been Jay City every time I talk to somebody. Oh, shout out to Jordan, Damn. man! Shit, like he he. Now, he how far are you thing. from St. Louis? About two and a 
two and a half hours. Okay. Like okay, that. so we had this conversation earlier. Since you you in the Midwest, yeah, yeah. Who's the best MC ever from the Midwest? Ooh. We gotta let you say that because we're not from that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you gotta go home too. So think about that. I know, I do. I do. <laughs> I do. Tell but Ed come outside. I can't. <laughs> Did you say tell Egg to come outside? <laughs> um, I, I I like so I like the whole Tech Nine vibe that was started there. Truth be told, I think that's like, a true Midwest thing. My whole my like the my guy, mama the, brought the rapper Tech Nine. Yeah, my mom will bring um uh Don Wine. Shout out Don Wine. Uh, is Nelly is him? Nelly that dude? Yeah, Nelly's Nelly's right. yeah. He he's respected more in business now than anything now. Like, All those are ugly. The, he, right. he, this he's, one they messed up the pennies. Mm. She got the shoes from ninety one. Sorry, the about blue that. is cool though. No, the that was, that penny was you couldn't really. Oh ball yeah, the penny that. Is, that one was ugly. Garbo. Yeah, that was ugly. <laughs> and then this was really ugly. That oh yeah, no, shit I, right I, there. I ain't rocking that. It that was like Jason Kidd. Wasn't, wasn't that the Jason <laughs> Kidd? That's what Jason. That's what Jason Kidd used to wear. Look like a scuff on it right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> them, them Reeboks was ugly. They just bought these back out. They just, I was at Marshall's and they had those at Marshall's. I'm like, nigga, please. Nah, I, ain't like I can't do low top. Can't do I, I don't know how dudes was balling at low tops. Those were, weren't those, um, what's his name for Chicago Bulls? Uh, uh, rose? Uh, no, no. Mm. Well, they got look like they have a rose on the back. But uh, the power forward. The, for, 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 you're not talking about Joe Kim. No, no, no. Back no power in the day, forward got no shoes. No, uh, um, when Jordan was there. Rodman. Rodman. Dennis Rodman. Yeah, he had the ones that laced up on the side. Yeah, and those are Scottie Pippins. Go back mm-hmm. down, go back down. So these are Scottie Pippins. Mm-hmm. Those was dope. Yeah. The Scottie Pippins was dope. They were a little stiff, but they were dope. These were Shaqs. Everybody hated those Shaqs. Remember the Shaqs with the big moon star on the back heel? Yeah. I didn't have that one. I had the, I had the Shaq with the, with the black stream that go right through the side of it. Oh yeah, you had, you had the, you yeah, had the had generic the, ones. I had the uh, hilarious. <laughs> yeah, wasn't it? Doing a layup. Yeah, <laughs> I, I had the don't pay more. Those are Scotty Pippins too. Uh, when Pitt, or Bar- well, Barkley or Pippin had the ones that had air on the side. That was that was Scotty. That was that's what I thought. That was Scotty Pippins. Scotty Pippin got a dope shoe line. Shout out to Scotty Pippin on that one. And his son's at uh, his son went to I forgot where he went, but he's playing point guard. So he's he's good. Shout out to him. Mm. I, hey Nick, can you look up and see where um, 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 what's come son went to? Uh, he plays. He was at Sierra Kenya last year. Uh, he was first round pick. Kenya Martin. Ken Martin's son went. I thought he was gonna go to UCLA, but at one time he was undecided. Yeah, those was dope. Now them them Penny Hardaways was the shit. I like this whole remake. But like these are ninety sevens. The oh yeah yeah. yeah. Uh, Oh wow! Where do you go? Overseas. Oh, he's going straight to the league next year then. Yeah, it says that he's going to bypass playing at uh, Vanderbilt to go overseas. Who? Pippen or Kenya Martin son. Jr. Oh, oh, okay. Because wow. yeah, Scotty Pippen son went to Vanderbilt. Yeah, so they were going to go together. This oh, is so they they probably offered him that bag. Because I know Melo yeah. Ball is so going to get paid. What you, what you think they're going to do about this uh, this loophole? No, I love it. They're going to have to start paying I, the players. Yeah, I like the kid that went and worked in New Balance, got a million dollars, yeah. worked out the whole time he was there, worked out with whoever the, the designed, trainer is supposed to be. Designed his shoes. Designed some shoes. Designed his own shoe, I would assume. I think he worked on the Kawhi Leonard shoes, actually. And got a million dollars and still got drafted to the, early. Uh, he, oh he's on the Thunder. Gosh. He's on the Thunder now. Yeah. And he signed a clutch sport, so I'm sure he's going to be well off. He did get years. hurt. He had to worry about blowing his knee out, pulling the Achilles. NCAA, NCAA better do something because it's almost <laughs> over. We got a phone call. Call her. What's your name? Where you calling from? Speak, this me again. Sorry. Nigga. Learning, there you go, Vernon. Wait, wait, wait. This is a good one. This is good. Speaking of Scotty Pippen, did you hear about his lawsuit, the lawsuit against him? Mm-mm. For what? 23 years ago, you remember, he was the man. Oh, shit. He had some chick following him around. Because she was his side piece. Okay. Now everybody got side piece. She, she is suing Scotty Pippen because she said he did not reimburse her for following him around. What? what? Wow, she ain't gonna get that much. If you in Cali, like an assistant, she trying to say? Well, no, 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 no. That was Scotty Pippen's side piece. He he was married then. So yeah, but. Now, 
I'm trying to see on what grounds can you sue for. What do you? I don't uh, understand. He, he, he ain't married suing? to the same person it's no just, more. It's just her. It's, it's probably her being bitter and mad because he don't want her. Because Twenty-three he years later. Found him somebody new. He found him a new piece, and she's young. So this uh, is okay, Vernon, happened. you messing me up. So was he still messing with her all twenty-three years up until right now? Yes. Yes. Mm. No. Twenty-three years ago, they had they had something popping off. So all while he was in the Bulls, they had something popping off. Got it. Now. After that, she probably left her alone because she got old, like most, like most people. Dude, do. she got a baby by her. That's hilarious, Vernon. Right? No. Then you ain't getting she shit. Got a baby mm -hmm. You ain't getting shit. Mm -hmm. Need a baby. Yeah. So you gotta show me some evidence. She, so she's pissed <laughs> off now because he didn't reimburse her for following him for following him around, being her, being her, being a sad piece. That Scotty can say, "Hey, I'm going to the hotel. Meet me here. I'm finna go do my." Thing. She be better off saying she got me too. Right. You you get some money off the Me Too than trying to say 23 years ago we dated and I ain't getting nothing out of it. I feel like she ran into him at the airport. And it wasn't like it wasn't like the and best. It wasn't movie. cool. <laughs> it he wasn't act like he act like he didn't see her. Yeah, right. Oh, I got something for you. Exactly what happened because yeah. he was with his new wife and she probably walked up on him. He was like, "Bitch, I don't know you." Yeah. He was like, "Oh, hey, how well, you I'm doing? going to let me guess. TMZ broke the story." Well, you did, nigga. <laughs> yeah. I ain't heard this shit. I, I was just going to say about, because you just mentioned TMZ, um, I'm looking up Scotty Pippen right now, and the only thing I'm finding is his ex-wife has been seen, you know, leaving the club with Ben Simmons. Oh. The guard Ooh. from uh, the, Youngster. the Sixers. Youngster. Um, but this is his ex-wife, right? Did y'all yeah. do, uh, did do uh, uh, TV junkies? No, we bought you now, bro. No, we are Okay, here's one, here's one, and, I, here's one and I'm Works. done. A uh, secret... Um, obsession. Oh, that's soft, nigga. Secret no, obsession. No, no, it's, it's like female soft. deodorant, nigga. Let me, let me explain. Let me explain. I will not that let you like explain. Spray, I'm fragrance. not watching the secret obsession. The new fragrance for him and him. That mean you following dudes. No, no, no. Break it down, bro. Quit following dudes. Wait, it's this woman. She's in a car accident. She loses her memory. This guy who claims to be her husband comes in and takes care of her and she finally realizes that oh, the dude that. that's taking care of her killed her husband and took his place. Wait, oh. Wait is, that the, is that the one when he was tr actually trying to kill her but then she wound up not dying and then she lost her memory? Is that a different yeah, one? and then that's he the ended up here. trying to get back with, he's, he's with her. Right, right. And she, and he's like, and she keeps, and shit ain't making sense to her, but he keeps saying, oh, it's, it's your memory, you know, everything will work itself out. He got pictures of him and her all over the fucking house, and it ain't even his house. <laughs> <laughs> and it's called what again, Vernon? What's the name of your show? Secret Obsession. Mm. Now, nah, see, it sounds better than it actually No, than no, <laughs> no, it still sounds suspect. But it's coming from okay, you, Vernon. Okay, so. I'm trying to tell you, sweetie. By like him I and him. <laughs> what I don't want to see is in my history, secret obsession. Speedy and Vernon. By him and him. All right, Vernon. I'm, okay, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to let you know. Trying to enlighten We're going to check it out. We're gonna check I, it. We don't need to play the music because Shelly ain't even did her part. But the We're movie, going it right now? Yeah. Dang. But the TV show that I watched all the way through, I got through it last night, was, uh, um, oh, shit. Something You. Oh, last chance you. No story. Yeah. Oh, last, last chance, chance you. The, um, the yeah, about those kids in, in uh, at Indy College. Yeah, and and the coach got fired <laughs> for calling this kid when he was on the football team, but he wasn't a football player. Mm -hmm. So he was like the the little holding the bags and oh, goofy stuff like that. And, he, and he's from Germany, and he said, "Yeah, he he got mad at him because he was fucking up and came late, and he, apparently he had cussed out some uh, some teachers." And he said, I'm going to be your Hitler. If you ever do this shit again, I'm going to be your fucking Hitler. And the, the motherfucking dude put that shit on, on Facebook and put it in all the shit, and it made him lose his job. Damn. Come in when you want to. His name is. What's that? How you doing, man? Man, you ain't got no tack to your nothing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know yeah, what? Actually, right came in like a green beret. <laughs> I, did, I did watch something actually. The top, See, uh, look at you. On Netflix. Did you, have you guys seen um, Kidnapping Stella? No, I will not. That sounds like. Go mic check real quick. No, Maestro. it was a good movie. Oh, turn it the other way, Michael. This way. With a dot, yeah, pointed at you. 
There you go. One, two, one, two. Oh, I got you. I got you. Go ahead. No, it was a good movie. So I can't hear now. Oh. There you go. Oh, you can't can hear? You can't hear. <laughs> oh, you, you're not plugged in. That's why. That's why when you come late. Yeah, you got to He's taking care plug. of some business. Now you got to let another so nigga plug what's in. The name of the, what's the name of the show again, Shelly? <laughs> it's, uh, no. well, it's a movie. It's called Kill, yeah, uh, Kidnapping cool. Stella. Uh-huh. It was about these two guys that kidnapped this girl, kept her hostage, tried, oh, to, get, like your show. tried sure. to get the uh, father yeah. to pay, but the father didn't want to pay. But it turned Let me out... guess, kidnapped from a shelter? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it turned out that one of the kidnappers was her ex-boyfriend. Damn. And, yeah, it was crazy. It was so crazy. crazy. Oh, Same God. thing. What that her even daddy mean? wouldn't pay for her to get her back? Damn. <laughs> oh, your story's got a horrible ending. <laughs> like, how it wasn't a real daddy. $5.99. Oh, hell no. <laughs> right. I got three. How much we got? 375 We got 375 right. How much time are you going to give us to raise this money now? Because <laughs> right. I got to be at work at five. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let me talk, yeah. Shelly. Shelly, we ain't gonna be there today. <laughs> right. Did you eat some earlier? Right. Be strong. Be strong. Now they need you to clean up. Clean up. When he go to work, try to chew through your ropes. <laughs> like, and don't like. run straight here, okay? <laughs> right. Detour. Go around the block. So circle back on your own yeah, tracks. Lose, case the nigga follow you. Lose the scent, nigga. Don't come straight home. <laughs> right. Don't He's obviously no crazy dangerous nigga right people. to the house. That's crazy. He's an obviously dangerous <laughs> people. <nigga. laughs> right. He came in on fire. Sick. He came in. <laughs> Said, don't don't circle the block. You said, circle the block. <laughs> cover your tracks. Don't be lying. To, don't be lying to the house. Right. Never run straight to the rescue. <laughs> oh, man. Call me back on the burner phone. Don't, don't <laughs> right. use my number. Stop at Seven Eleven. Buy a throwaway. <laughs> call me, and then I'll meet you somewhere. Don't come to the house. Whatever you do. <laughs> Maestro Clark in the building. <laughs> What's happening? Right. Fuck you at, man. You hit me. You're so late. You hit me an hour ago saying I'll be there in 30 <laughs> right. minutes. Right. You know how, hey, it's one of them days where you know how you get a, a call from your bank and something talking about you owe some money, you know they bullshitting. Nigga, we going to handle I this right now. Mm-hmm. Right. I had to, I'll be right back, Speedy. Hold up. Quick, he was in the right. parking lot. Right. I'll be, I'll be there. Knocking on this nigga's desk. Excuse me, Brad. Let me holler at you for a minute. Uh-uh. Yeah, no. T- turn your key outside. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. There's a line? Uh, no, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah. Nah, that ain't for me, dog. <laughs> that ain't for me. So, I can't so what was wrong? You. you know, nigga, be, well, they, they talking about, uh, oh, yeah, escrow payment had a, uh, what do you say? We found a, uh. A tax payment that was like so we went ahead and paid it. So you go now your escrow short. You're gonna need to put some more. And I'm like whoa 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 whoa. Oh, they you? did something. Right, mm-hmm. that wasn't even me. I was like, how you find some? Nah, bro, you wrong. Put that back. Right, right. exactly. Don't be taking shit out of my account then tell me to put some more in, nigga. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Matter of fact, I need all that. Right. Give me all my forty five dollars. Right. Nigga, that's my grandmama crutches money. Been saving up for that. I got to get my daughter back, nigga. Give me <laughs> right. Back. My daughter's being kidnapped right now. Nigga, I ain't got time for this bullshit. I need Shelly back now. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere without my 5216. <laughs> Why is all Shelly's stories about being kidnapped by the okay, ex-boyfriend? Okay, well, on a, on a different note. You know what I'm saying? She, she got the sad she Netflix account. Yeah. Yeah. Got Every the sad Netflix, Netflix movie. Okay, so like, the guy no, was I married. I like action killer movies, like. Oh. Like, I like, you know, detective, let's figure out what's really going on. You right. seen American like, Gods on uh, uh, Stars? American Gods is fun. I don't have Stars. I saw the preview, but I ain't seen the show. I don't have, stars. I don't have like, dope. normal cable. Yeah. I don't yeah. have all American the, Gods is, is okay. fun. I don't have it's, all the bells and whistles on my okay, cable. Okay, so what do you got? <laughs> bells and so, whistles. So, <laughs> I mean, Nick brought up the other day, but I was going to bring up sex tuplets with the Waynes brother. What? Okay, let's get everybody's opinion. I was waiting for this day because I wanted to talk about it. So I stopped watching then. After Weird. the credits. I already know why you stopped. <laughs> For one thing, I didn't laugh. Now, oh, even geez. even when it got I to the, the little dude in the bed. Then the little dude in the bed was that just was the visual was funny. That was funny. But so I didn't even laugh on that. But he reminded me, what was that movie that the Wayne's brothers did when he was a little baby? Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much that's, what, that's it. what it reminded so, me. So so the fact that that Marlon played all the <laughs> shit. Which Six means, nigga, they was filming for a very long time. <laughs> right. I mean, nigga, I that wardrobe that. change. Oh, my God. It, Makeup alone. Well, Two they hours. made it easy for him to go from the fat dude to the fat sister. Right. Because they That's just the take, clumps. Yeah, you just. Yeah, That's the clumps. Much, clump. um, once it got to the little dude in the bed, and then I, I thought it was funny that he didn't know he signed to give his kidney. Right. right. Now, when he finds out, oh, I got to give my kidney to my brother, somebody's car. Black Toyota. Oh, yeah, that's me, bro. I got you. I was parking <laughs> my man's private space. <laughs> my fault. But you don't even have a Toyota. You, yeah, have, you have a nicer car. Okay, they want you to move. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, I that's why. Hey, yeah, park in my spot. All right. I'll put a point to it. Hold that thought. We'll be yeah, right you back. You're going to go into the bank right quick come back? Yeah, I'm going to go back to the bank. <laughs> so anyway, so I got to that part, and I'm like, eh, I stopped watching. So I, I didn't watch anymore after he finds out that he got to give his, his kidney 
to the little dudes or he can leave. I mean, she just, it was only like 25% left of the movie. Okay, so I, I, was, I hadn't laughed that whole time. I was waiting for Marla to make me laugh. Well, I like the movie... I mean, I wanted to watch because obviously he was adopted. He was looking for his Hilarious. family. So that's why I, I wanted to watch No, that was your <laughs> way But in. I related because like when she, when his wife was like, aren't you excited to like open up this file? And he was just like, no, because he had imagined, you know, his own story of what his parents were. And I was like, dude, I, t- I almost cried at that point. I was like, I actually relate to this. Are you fucking <laughs> It was a comedy. Me? Nope. I mean, not. I know at it was a comedy. At what point you cry in that movie? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because I related to that. And I was like, wow, like. And I was telling my husband, I said, remember when I used to think like, okay, so my dad's, my birth dad's last name was Corbin. And so when I moved to California and I saw the Corbin Bowl yeah, down on Ventura, I was like, oh my gosh, maybe my family owns this. And like, we're like these rich Tony, people. you should get a job there. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, pins, that was before he started working on Lucky Strike. Uh-huh. But I'm like, but you just have this you like. You applied at Corbin's first. You have this story in your head of like who your parents no. are. So mm. you just say no, because you're not adopted. You don't yeah, understand. That would that be side. jacked up if you imagine like your last, your last name with Jordan. And you was like, damn, Michael Jordan, probably my dad. Nigga, I just. And then you find out that John Ooh. Jordan, nigga, they work at <laughs> Subway. <from> boy. <laughs> he the Subway dude to mop it. Hey, I'm John oh Jordan. How you doing, bro? Oh, my bro? goodness. Like, oh, man, that's so, so, so you cried? I mean, I didn't cry, you but did. like, I felt, I was tearing up. I was like, oh, I'm we, we got a phone call. Hold, hold on your tears. <laughs> call her, what's your name? Where you calling from? Call her, what's your name? Where you calling from? All, All right. right. All right. So you're back to crying. I wasn't crying. It was so, just so here's the part I did not get, and I, but I know movies just gotta go, just go. Fuck it, it can happen. So he he convinces his wife, I'm gonna go and find out about my family. Right now, it's taking longer, and I'm gonna come home so I can see the birth of the baby because he said I am not going to miss the birth of the baby. Yes. Then the sister says, No, we gotta go see little whoever he is in bed. He's your little brother. You gotta go see him. Fuck your baby. I mean, that's not what was said. <laughs> Pretty much, because remember he said, I am not going to miss the birth of my baby. I didn't miss any of this. I saw every single one of them. I mean, but every single one. on that perspective, though, like, I get it, because a lot of times, me trying she to cried. meet my family. Well, on the sex topless <laughs> joint? <laughs> no, that, I said I wanted to No, you no. said I cried. I said I teared up. What our boy spilled the bowl of cereal, nigga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't take it no, no. more. No. <laughs> Wasting all that good cereal. <laughs> but of course you want to put nah, your immediate family first, I like your spouse, it. your kid, whatever. But in the same note, like you want to meet your birth family. So I'm like, I need oh. to fly out to New Jersey right so, now and go meet my family. Overrated. You thought it was did, that deep. Did you see it? Because I'm, I'm adopted. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't watch it. I Nick, watched like said, two seconds. I watched the clips. Then I had to go. I couldn't. I you ain't said watch. Dude, I, I said, because I, I give everything a chance. I said, okay, if you make me laugh, I'm going right, right. So I was like, oh, shit. And I <laughs> like me and Marlon cool. So right. I'm not hating on Marlon. Right. I just didn't laugh. I didn't. I, I saw sex tuplets and I saw Wu Assassin. Right. Wu Assassin's a shit. And I definitely watched. Wu yeah, Assassin's shit. I went with shit. the Wu Assassin. It was a good Wu decision. Assassin. Have, you, right. seen Wu have you, ca- you caught up? Oh, nice. Nah, not Where yet. Where you at? I'm oh, on the right. second one. F1. Oh, for real, nice. nigga. What is okay. it called? Wu Assassin. They fight. He just now got beat up in the damn food truck. After the last one I saw, so he he just getting started. I'm way, nigga. I'm I'm way past where. Oh, nigga. Damn, for real. Ooh, See, I was, like, I was, I'm still on the American fence. I ain't committed yet. I'm they like, go eh. hand to hand. Which one were you at? Wu Assassin in America. Oh, I took that whole season out one day. What? Oh, Wu you did? Wu Assassin. I can't yeah. watch the whole, I gotta watch yeah. three and then go sit down. Go nah, do something you, different. I wish. Once you in, you in though. Once you already gotten you started. Like, so, so I you saw? Game. Okay, I ain't gonna fuck it so up. So you already oh, finished yeah, it. Yeah, you in the middle? Yeah, I'm in the middle. See, I'm in the beginning. I haven't seen anything. It's W U. Assassin, yeah. like Wu Tang Clan, yeah. it's like Hilarious. that. But Shelly only watched sad stuff. It probably be too but, fun. For but you. But what I don't it, watch what that it did do? I think got a I, yes. I like a lot of drama movies. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, you like. What shit. about his parents? <laughs> this Wu Assassin. Yeah. Where's he from? Is he adopted? <laughs> right. Do we have anybody that love him or not? Oh, this nigga got a real mad brother. Enough. <laughs> this nigga with his whole family showing off. <laughs> oh, he learned karate from his uncle. This is bullshit. For one minute though, it. Right after the, where you at now, right? It's going like the next one's good, but then it goes to the left for some reason. Yeah, yeah. see, it make a left turn, and see. I said, "What?" The girl started getting on my nerves in the first one already. His little mentor, they were telling her, "Now you up?" You oh, know? She like, only gonna be there for a minute. Yeah, she about, she yeah. about to get out the way. Yeah, something about her, I was like, "Eh, you kind of hokey." She, she about, yeah. she That's about somebody's to niece that just came from China. But this is like, how they you. get you. That opening scene, or not right. opening, that scene when in he the fighting, beginning? right? Nick, he got that Jet Li type swag to him. Yes. But he, he a weird looking dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little funny big head dude. Yeah, but funny he got, head. you know, he quick as hell. The whole vibe and how they break down this Get closer to the mic. The 
the whole vibe and how they break down that whole t- talisman and and. And to get you caught up, they they was clowning the haircut. Oh, yeah, they, 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 they called him Mr. They Egg. My, my Mr. Son, Egg. My son, somebody just put the word cashews. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You know how you this one? Went to somebody new Uh-oh, to come she, around she, right. to chop them? Yeah, right. That's what they, it was. They, 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 was what? they got one. They said you have a live egg in the studio and you don't need to play scrambled eggs and pan. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, they, but, they had them saved up yeah, for you. You walked into it. Who assassin this shit? Sex tablet? I had stopped watching. And you saw it all the way through, Nick? Yeah, I watched the whole thing. I knew, yeah. I, I watched the preview, so I knew what it was going to be. The whole series you watched? No, no, it's, it's a movie. Oh, ah, okay. And I and I think because I grew up watching Eddie Murphy, right? He set the bar for that type of comedy, right? And he set a hell of a bar. Yeah, he set it too Remember, high. They Everybody were on the table, yeah. nigga. They was yeah, a that, table. That, that right. table scene is one of the greatest that's comedy classic. moments. It, you can matter of fact, right. fast forward to that, yeah. and just watch that, and then when they get away from the table, you can go and turn it off, right? And, and to make it even funnier, it's all Eddie Murphy, right? Yeah. Which is even funnier. Yeah, you know, which so. was dope because you couldn't even tell all of them was him. Like yeah, most yeah. times, you could look and see a nigga plastic sticking off his chin and all that. That was well, so solid, you couldn't even tell all of them was him. Voices was different. I'm everything. gonna give you that one is uh, uh, Vampire in Brooklyn. Oh, yeah. When, you, oh, when they yeah. saw it, did and you yeah. saw the, it start peeling up the widow's peak? Yeah, yeah. 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 God see, damn it. That's the- <laughs> That's when you can't afford the main makeup, movie. dude. You bring the apprentice on you with you. Oh, it's a black movie? Yeah, my sister available. I, I probably ain't going to be able to do it. She cuts. good. Okay. Yeah, she good, too. She we'll do let a lot Shelly of make us a tutu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She makes some cute tutus, yeah. oh, and she got adoption oh, papers too. <laughs> you like makeup slash wardrobe slash doing the food. You like pr- Dude, you craft you, you services. Know what? I did the phone number on there today. I, I, I put that number wow. up there. My, I my vinyl keep that cutter. As a secret, right? Right? No, she really? All I do it all. I do everything. Damn, right. You all purpose. Go Shoot. Shelly. Go 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 Shelly. So I'm excited. Tomorrow, season three starts of Seven Seconds on Netflix. Of Ooh. Seven Seconds. I have yet to see that. What's that? What? I don't even know. Seven what is, seconds. What the hell? Seven, seven seconds. seconds. That was like a huge thing on Netflix. Like last not year. For really us. not. Not for oh. us. It was maybe in the shelter. Right. Maybe. Probably for the girls. No, it's I'm probably, sorry. I'm lying. I'm thing. lying. Sorry. Oh, damn. I'm confusing. Seven seconds was good. You should watch that. Seven seconds you is a workout. App. No, you should. No, you would. You would <laughs> like that. I'm so sorry. Weird. I meant to say 13 reasons why. No season shit. Three starts tomorrow. You doubled up on the number then. <laughs> seven seconds. It was 13 reasons why. I'm sorry. I meant 36 chambers. No, but no, but seriously, seven seconds. Y'all would like nickel and five because it's about. I meant four. 48, the first 48. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, no, not the second 48. Wait, wait, time out, time out, time out. Seven, Three days seconds, in the valley. seven <laughs> seconds is about a white cop that kills a black kid, not purposely, by accident. And then the oh, whole, yeah. the whole movie, it literally yeah. took seven I know seconds. how that story is. Yeah, you should watch it. You guys, you guys Wait, would actually really. Wait, this a show? This is a uh, show on it's Netflix. A, no. They did a movie kind of similar to that. Right. No, but you guys would really like it. No. I promise you. I don't like how it ends. But. Or what so. I meant to say was tomorrow's season three of 13 Reasons Why. Have you seen that? Oh, mm. The little suicide show? Nah, yes. I can't it's get a into great it. show. Suicide. 13 yes. Reasons Why? Yes. It's about this, why? Teen, this teenager, teenager killed, killed herself and then they find their diary and they go backwards in the show to see why they killed herself through all their friends and family. What? Depressing there, so there, as there, shit, Shelly. No, Thank it's you. Not, but there was, <laughs> if you. This is my if favorite you, part where he hangs himself from the tree. That's right. If now, you have but he's going to stay alive because he's going to go back. No, 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 no. If you have teenagers, you have a why. teenager. Right. I feel like that's why I watched it. I'm like, well, why is anybody talking about this? I don't want to watch it. Shit. Watch it. It's a great movie. It's dark I as hell. Not. You should she watch says it. she never comes back. <laughs> right. Find out why it happened. <laughs> right. On the next no, episode, but you don't, she you cuts don't, her wrist. You don't know what your kids are going through. Like this hey. movie. Mm-hmm. Like, does, I think it's so a so good does it does it deal with like depression issue with kids? Is that kind of the purpose of it? So it's called 13 Reasons Why because there's 13 different people in her life, whether it was family, kids, whoever, that affected her. How did she kill herself? Um, they shouldn't tell you. I actually don't remember. They should wait for the end. Apparently, right. Apparently well, that actually, wasn't you, number wait one. Wait for the beginning. That's yeah, it. It's the <laughs> first scene. Yeah, she got to die in the first <laughs> scene. Right. Bitches, you but, but the second season ended because I don't know if they knew. Yeah, they it's were hard to back, get a squeeze a bunch of seasons out of a dead person. The last guy of why the last person <laughs> she, of why she and in season two she gonna do it all over again. I'm thinking no, but the la- the reason why she the last reason <laughs> she spirit killed herself. Comes alive. Stop. Was there was an athlete that um had raped her basically. No, I knew they was gonna go there. You gotta have a rape. Gotta go there. Let me guess. He was black. No, he was white, and she was white, and so right. he went to trial and the got plot, away with plot it. Plot twist. And right. so now season three, I think he winds up dying, so trying to figure out. Now he's gonna kill him. himself because he <laughs> ruined his scholarship because <laughs> yeah. so he got charged of rape. And then and we baby. gotta figure out how he died. Right. I can't yeah. talk to y'all. You see, y'all like talking, yeah. talking, and y'all make fun see? of my movie, my you, show. Well, no, nah, everybody else in the chat room, go check you, it out. You did, you did buy into my theory that all your show said. When we get, when we get to him, there's 26 reasons why not. Right. Exactly. We got a phone call. Call her. What's your name? Where you calling from? With your seven second ad. <laughs> you got seven seconds, nigga. Go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's out of there. 
Uh, the one to watch now, what to watch this weekend comes back for its fifth and unfortunately final season is Power. And, and I hate oh, the fact yeah. so that six, right? Black, no, oh, well, six, I think it's six or fifth. Six, six. I think it's fifth. On stars. Mm. On stars. And I hate the fact that all black shows, five <laughs> season, you done. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. White show, it's the 16th season, and we're going to really right. see what happens to Peggy, who right. died in third season three. Uh, <laughs> you can dig up Murphy Brown and bring her yeah, back for 12, 22 business. more episodes and shit. Fucking bullshit. Friends, uh, all of them back. We got a phone call. Call her what's your name and say it loud because your flip phone flipped out. <laughs> DJ out there in Vegas. I know y'all was talking to me saying I got six seconds. <laughs> <laughs> now you're down to five. What it's, you seven, it's seven I seconds. Just, I just you got seven seconds. I'm like, damn, this some taking type shit. <laughs> hey, that's hilarious. Damn. <laughs> Niggas got one of my relatives hot. <laughs> I, start, I start sweating like a motherfucker. <laughs> but um, I watched that sex tuplets, man, and it was cool, but it was definitely straight to Netflix worthy. Like, if I would have, you know, went to the movies with that and paid my money, oh, yeah. I would have asked for my money back and my popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me ask. I'm going to go around the table. But DJ De Vegas, have you ever went back and asked for your money back at a theater? Only I have, but only not because the movie was bad. Only because of something else, like the girl pissed me off, or the seats, huh? the seats was bad. You <laughs> right, know, right. You got them real seats. Close yeah, get there the early, nigga. You sitting in the front. Nigga, I am black. I'm not getting. Black, <laughs> I, now, movie. I don't. I don't show up late to movies. I like because I like seeing trailers. Nigga, oh shit. Nigga, I'm an hour late to work every. Day. <laughs> you know, nigga, late. you just drive through a Taco Bell, nigga. That's you don't need you there for rush hour. Nigga, nigga boss, listening right now. This nigga black bragging about being late now. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to DA when he get back. My dog blamed the hey, theater for why, for the girlfriend. In Vegas, most <laughs> yeah, yeah, theaters right. are luxury. So right. You get, to, you, get, you get to pick. That's the only way I'm going to the movies is if I get to pick my seat because right. there's gonna be some niggas in my seat. Exactly. But, and um, the food too. Did, yeah, the food too. But how do they keep getting these movies lit? That's like, man, that's because because Netflix here because you're missing the whole thing. Netflix has a gang of money, but right. they want content because they're charging people. They moved it, was it fourteen dollars now? Yep, they moved so, it to monthly. Yeah, yeah, so it's monthly fourteen, oh, and the only way you can savage. do that, they want content, and that, and right. the content they're looking for now is where they can create those thirty-minute series where you go, oh, and James said what, and boom, go to the next yeah. one. So they want you mm-hmm. to keep watching and keep hooking on to these series. But I won't say the movie was bad. It was not a bad. We just Marlon, Marlon's comedy and his acting, he goes far. You know what I'm saying? Over so, the top. But then the, the other thing was the storyline. Like, I didn't like how the one brother said the mama was dead, but then at the end, the mama not really dead. Oh, oh nigga, I didn't see the rest of it. Bye, DJ out there, oh, Vegas. Lord. Hang up the phone. Oh, I now I can't watch it. Now I can't watch this nigga's story. You're not a week already, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I'm going to come D- in the theater and kick the popcorn out your hand. I know that damn <laughs> yeah, DJ, what's the shit? <laughs> DJ, what, what uh, should we watch this weekend? Any suggestions? What you got? Man, if you ain't ca- ca- catch up on that snowfall, snowfall was fire last night. Oh, hmm. I, I, I want to tell that so bad how that went. Hmm. But um, that's yeah. really what I'm on right now. I'm just on, I'm just on snowfall. Yeah, I'm right, and, and you, and you in the drive through nigga. Don't forget you in the drive through <laughs> uh, I, I said with drive-thru. cheese, nigga. <laughs> 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 He's he he making his call through the headphone mic. Hold on, nigga. I'm on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, nigga. Relax. We're going to make your food. Relax. <laughs> I heard you, nigga. Big flurry, nigga. Hold on. Right. Nigga. <laughs> so with anyway. cheese. Yeah, so anyways. Nigga. Like, I was All right, saying. DJ. You ever went back and asked for your money back? On, on at, a, at the theater? Uh, I think once because the damn movie cut off. And we were sitting there for like 10 minutes waiting for him to fix it. I oh, think that was the only no. time. But. Eat that back. Yeah. You ever? Uh, I, I'll tell you straight up. I had one good time. Yes, you're that, right. That I got away with it. Uh, <laughs> I went back and asked, but it was strategic. No. Oh, you just wanted your money back. Oh, yeah. Because the movie was bad. No, no. I, I took, took and uh, tore off the, the part that was just the receipt. Right. Uh, then went business. back, asked for the money back, uh, like five minutes into the movie. Damn. And then take your head right uh, back in there. Me, and sit me down. Dave, or Dave, or I ain't encouraging nothing. <laughs> What's the one with, with Eddie time. Murphy? Oh yeah, the was one where he was uh... a robot or some goofy ass yeah. shit. Yeah. And the scene was he he needed do wanted his money and he said okay I'm gonna shit it out and he shit it out the money. I, I walked out the theater. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told the girl come on. <laughs> and I went to the front, and the guy was like, "What's that?" He said, "No, we don't do refunds." I said, "Give me my money back. It's gonna be a problem." <laughs> Why you went? Yeah. Hold on a second. There's two of you guys. Right. Wait, the tax. part where he shit out the money. You was like, "Excuse me, excuse me, I'm out." <laughs> nigga, I'll, excuse me, excuse me, homie. Excuse me. Hold my popcorn. Fuck this shit. Right. 
I couldn't do it. Uh, and, and Pluto Nash asked for my money back. Pluto yeah. Nash, I think the worst movie I've ever seen in theater has to be Pootie Tang. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. Plen- I, plenty. I wouldn't have Not even close. In, Something in plenty. Not even With close. who? That nigga said, Pudita Timmy Tay. Yeah. <laughs> and he got paid. What y'all right. don't understand? He definitely he signed. He got good. chipped off. He well, signed he was, pities on the running kind. Right. He a he good does. ass writer, though. But yeah, yeah that, right. that was a character that shouldn't have been two hours long. That was one. That was, that was a sketch character that should have stayed yeah. like three, four minutes. And his, his weapon was the belt? I was no, his out. weapon was his ponytail. I thought it was the belt. That nigga hit a nigga. Was he had a bullet with his ponytail. He did do God. What about you? I've never done that. I mean, no, but no, I, I have, never, I've w- never asked for my money back, but I have snuck into other movies after the movie. No. You ever no. walked out of a movie? It was this that bad? You just mm-hmm. couldn't sit through it? No. Damn. Oh, no. You're loyal. Loyal. Tell you loyal. Nigga, I will get up. Yeah, I walked out of a car. But I don't choose I'll that find that white to dude. watch. <laughs> no, sometimes you, you, you catch an L. You catch an right. L. Right, you it think like it's going to be good. Pluto Nass, Eddie Murphy. Right. I'm Eddie fan. So right. anything Eddie did, and then I walked in and walked out. Mine was like, mine was like, all right, <laughs> oh, right. oh, you left me? No, I went and got my money back. Oh, and then came back. back. Yeah. It was her choice. It came was back happy. I, just had to, <laughs> I got some more popcorn. Right. Oh, I thought you was broke. Nah, when well. Hey, when you, when you know what I know. <laughs> <laughs> I used to work here. They when know. I yeah. snuck into a concert like that. Damn. It was, uh, it was, the, it was uh, uh, Maze and uh, Tina Beck. Marie. <laughs> yeah, Frankie Bradley Maze, Tina Marie. And it was at the Beverly Center. Be- oh, Beverly uh, Theater in Beverly Hills. Oh. So so I'm there passing out flyers. Me and Philippe, we're passing out flyers. Oh, and I see this dude, wa- white dude, walk in. He goes, yeah, my alarm went off on my car. And he let him in. I went, <laughs> <laughs> what? I waited like 10 more minutes. And I had to, and my kids, I was, my man said, hey, I, yeah, my alarm went off. I went, you know, my, my wife's inside. He said, oh, yeah, go ahead in. <laughs> <laughs> this is me forever. <laughs> easy, easy I had fun. no seat, though. Right. I, I, just I did a lot around of with your keys, I did a whole jangling. lot of sitting down. Look, sir. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> whole lot of bumping down. <laughs> right. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Ah, shit, that's the worst right. when you know you ain't yeah, got no seat. Everybody work. come in, nigga. You flinching. Oh, you over here? You come. Okay. <laughs> come my, my, my bag, brother. Right. Excuse me, bro. Did oh, you want to check the too? guy with the lawn chair in the <laughs> front? Yeah, right. I, I, was, I, I watched that whole concert, but most of it was standing up. Damn. By myself. Hey, for I, free, I, though. I'm going to tell you all the lick I used free. to pull all the time. This one I was in, in, junior, in junior college out in uh, Palmdale. Oh, we, we used to go to the uh, hometown buffet. So the, anybody been to the hometown buffet? They have two. They have an entrance and an exit door, right. but they're separate. Yeah. <laughs> so and they had a payphone by the exit door. <laughs> so what I figured out was oh, I would stand. I would stand by the exit door. Somebody come out. I slide in, grab the payphone. Right. Stay there. You know, thirty seconds. Boom. I walk back in. Walk by the desk. Grab a receipt. Put it on my table. Damn. Enjoy my meal. Oh my god. He's old school okay, okay, detective. Go back, go back, go back. Old okay. school detective <laughs> trick. Okay, okay, hold on. Go back. Go back. <laughs> hey, so, so they have the in, which is where you in, you right, pay. Right. And they got out when you leave. He went in the back door. He went in so the other door. You went in the back door. Just grab grab the your seat. So you went in the back door. Went, went through the went through the exit door. Grabbed the payphone. Like I was which just, is right there. Which is right there. Like now, where'd you get the receipt from? You just I just grabbed it off because at um. At that place, what is it? Uh, buffet. At the buffet place, you have to leave your receipt on the desk, on the table. Right. Okay. Say sure how many so pay. you grab somebody else's receipt. I just slid it off. I just see who paid for one person. Damn. They get up and leave. I just grab a little paperwork. Damn. Slide that down. Wow. Go get my eat on. So if y'all, listen, y'all in college right now, y'all no, starving. Oh, don't be no. encouraging our listeners. <laughs> it's too late now. They hip to that. Shout out to, home, shout right. out to Hotel somebody Buffet. Was, That's somebody how Somebody pulled out a pen and a paper. Yeah, so they, they hip to that, that now. If you got oh a girl with God. you, it's hard to pull. I'm like, all right, baby, I'm going in first. I'm going to bring you some chicken in my pocket. Just relax. <laughs> Just stand here like you on the phone for 20, 30 minutes, and bag. I'll be right back out. <laughs> exactly. So you know? i never forget one Easter we go to church. It's me, Donald, Dominic, and, and Justin. Justin was little. So we go to uh, Denny's. For so Easter? Eat. Hey. Hey, that Easter breakfast Father's ain't no joke. Yeah, nigga, they, this after Easter, nigga, it was right. packed in it. Right. I don't think breakfast it was like just Easter. us. It was packed. Home-cooked meal? No. Yeah. Man, just, I was single dad. So we in there eating. So Justin gets up and runs out. So I got to go get my son. So I re- Justin, and I realized I was outside. I went, hey. and I had paid. And they were sitting at the table. They looked out. I went. Damn. I signaled for them to come out and they came. Oh my God. We went to the car and Donald said, Dad, I hate you. Say something. You're going to go pay. (laughs) Now you get in the car. (laughs) Little Justin was running. I said, Yeah, go keep running. He ran all the way out the door. All the way out the fucking door. Because he (laughs) he went out the door and I had to go get him my son. 
Yeah, you need a leash yeah, on him. When I realized I was outside without paying, I went, shit. Damn. Now, why would I go back? Nigga, that stole breakfast from Jesus. Thing. Then you started doing that every You're like, okay, when breakfast. we're done eating, you're going to run off right. the Right. Nigga, <laughs> stole breakfast from Jesus. <laughs> look, look at this. On Easter. But hey. we, if you do it that way, Shelly, your oh. kids, the kids are telling them. Right, slow motion. The kids will run to the waiter and go, we finna run out. Right. Daddy, we still going to run after we eat? Why? Why he looked like he was free halfway to the car. Right. Oh, shit. Right. Because I was like, Outside, I went. Yeah. <laughs> and ain't nobody following because it's that's how you know this right, shit yeah, going back. No, right. My man, you want to come back in? Right. I, I was getting the kid. Nigga. That's when you start chasing any kid at a restaurant. <laughs> hey, come here, little Ray. Come, Ray, Pookie, get over here. I'll be right back. <laughs> you never did anything. You too scared. Shelly, wholesome. Yeah. You never I did told you, God I took, bless her. I stole teething tablets. Teething tablets. <laughs> that was an emergency <laughs> situation. I was poor. Your kid was teething. God right. damn it. America knows you uh, needed it. She's, she's, no, but you know what I used to do? They had the I baby did, suck I on it in the store. <laughs> right. No, so. Then oh put gosh. it back. So when I moved here. <laughs> it only suck half of it. Someone bit out of this one. I, <laughs> right. I, I was a little broke. So I met this lady. And she's yeah. like, hey, do me a favor. I will pay you. So damn. she used to go to Nordstrom Right. Rack, Buy up clothes that still had the Nordstrom yep. tag on that it, means okay. stealing and then had me return it at right. Nordstrom. <laughs> she didn't buy that shit. She stole it. She just wanted you to be Dude, the one to get caught. I yeah. did that for like months. Yeah, you so, was her proxy. <laughs> so his right. mom knew some people. We knew people. <laughs> Sometimes you just know. <laughs> and this young lady was the best. Booster. The best. Damn. She got. She was able Super to. Boost. She would take a stroller, come back oh, out shit. with a comforter. Yeah, not as busy. Day, <laughs> give you the comforter, see? and you walk back in, and and then you get you know because you don't. It's the Nordstrom. You don't need a receipt. Damn. Back right. in the day, dude, and you can return anything. Anything used for like long as it was Nordstrom's. Right. Wow. Right. Right. They just recently stopped letting you bring the old shoes back. <laughs> you need to come back the with old the, shoes. With, with the mean on it. Right. They go to play those closets. But, now. but right. everybody to nigga, play those. His mom had this girl. She was the. She would ask what you need. When he wow. needs. He wears a two X. He was. Boom. She come back. Bam. I was like, bitch, how you do this with a Damn. stroller? I'll tell, you, I'll tell you straight. Black man, folks, I love being black. The one that changed my life, this was this was a white folk experience. Mm-hmm. This was, yeah, this was one of the Shut real ones. Eggplant. So <laughs> we go to, uh, chill, chill, chill. So, <laughs> so we, the go chicken to, coop. <laughs> <laughs> we go to Kmart, right? Ah, I'm, Kmart. I'm proud. It's, it's old story. Yeah, been right then. Old you say story. I'm like, I'm like fifth grade, Damn. fourth grade, fifth grade. This my is in, boy, Eric. In, this is in Kansas, Kansas City. City. Uh huh. Homeboy Eric. I, n- never mind. No Hilarious. <laughs> oh, Eric. That's his code name. His no. real name is Ulysses. <laughs> we end up. We end up. Ulysses the Grant. Right. AKA right. right. Julius. Right. <laughs> so we end up in Kmart. It's me, him, his older sister, and his older sister's homeboy, boyfriend, whatever it was. Mm-hmm. We're walking around, probably. Take a lap or two. Mm. Yeah, you gotta do a lap or two. Right. That's, but Check, it was a quick lap. I mm. promise. I, <laughs> it was I jogging wasn't around the like, outside. <laughs> it was a real the quick outside lap. owl. <laughs> they, I turn around. They like, all right, come on. So mm. we we go to the go to the front. They got this uh, tub. All they got is a tub. That's what I'm thinking. Mm. We get outside. We get to the car. Where the white people come in at? This is a long-ass story. (laughs) We get to the car. They open the tub. It's a whole thing of paintball equipment. Oh, a whole smart. thing of paint. Okay, they didn't the open tub? it. Right, they didn't check it when y'all checked Nobody out. They usually check. That, that was a big that was a weak cashier. They, they usually look in there. It was a one that big. Oh, you talking about like a cooler? Oh, one of the big bins. No, not yeah. a yeah. like yeah. a college. Yeah. I'm going to college. This was a green right. college Tupperware bin. Snap oh, top that joint. bin. Yeah, yeah. wheels on it. Right, right, right. Ain't nothing in here. Just go on and check it. I'm good. Just going to run that scanner. I'll be outside. Right. You got it. Yeah, this is how you do that. So you got to. Set on top. Okay, right. you get it. You get, okay, and you just set That's it back right. in your basket. Right. right. You can't let him look through it. He was right. real quick so, with it. Nigga, yeah. So I, I had, nigga, I said, damn, I ain't have no money for all this shit. So I left <laughs> some shit in the basket, <laughs> and I paid for some shit. Right. So I was like, yeah, nigga, I came up. I got outside, forgot to take the shit in the basket. Damn. I, and that drove shit. on, went. <laughs> I left the shit I stole right. in the basket. I only somebody got my probably stole my shit. Look, <laughs> hey, somebody stole my shit. I stole. Somebody restole my shit. Can't trust nobody <laughs> Look, in this damn store. I got all the way home and went. 
That's what you get. God, damn. So I think about all karma. these, uh, right. all these uh, self scanners. Do you know how? Oh yeah. Hey, that listen, shit. listen. It's my duty. <laughs> it's my duty. If you make me the cashier. Oh I, my god. Listen, I don't work Five, for Tarzan. Right. Ago, nigga, so checking you. niggas out, including myself. And I'm not. I, sh- I gotta get my own bag, nigga. Right. Listen what? here. If I got to do that, I'm right. Like, hey, hey. Nigga, well, I'm an employee at, discounting myself every time at Home Depot. So now they got the self checkout where you got to grab the gun. Right. I went. My man said. You just use that one. I said, Wow. All this shit ain't going to get red. <laughs> right. So said, right. I'd be like this. Beep. That's all you're doing. Right. Like, one for, one for y'all, two <laughs> for me. <laughs> ten out, one ten out of 11 of these don't make it. Hey, so nigga. Right, nigga. And the lick was, I guess the thing could tell the weight right, of, of when whatever you when you buy there. something. Oh, yeah. Nigga, so I set it on there and they go right to the bag. Yep. Boom, bam, boom. But I, nigga, no, when I'm I say I left, I left a grip of shit in that nigga, basket. Scan the same like, thing twenty I'm times. Nah, see, you need a lot of tape. Huh? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all my hustle with that, with the, with the weight thing. Oh, All you shit. do is you like, if I go get something, I usually bring a bottle of water, night. something Ten in there with me. Oh, and put the water on. So it. I just set my stuff, my stuff on the weight thing. So Damn. now the whole system thrown off, nigga. I'm like, nah, nigga, I, I brought that in. Bro. Damn. <laughs> I drunk two ounces, nigga. So who knows? This <laughs> one, we got phone call. <laughs> got to be Vernon. Damn. Vernon knows some licks. Caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? You damn right I know some I told you, I knew Vernon knew, man. Wait, Vernon, wait. Oh, Somebody shit. said that dude has a big ego. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> the, the movie theater, please. The king, I was the king of the movie theater. Still I would see eight, eight, six, seven movies in one day. How, oh yeah, just going yep. movie to movie. Yep. But do you that watch all the movies? Because oh, yeah, you can't, movie, movie you can't out. sit and watch them all. Because the dude be waiting by the door. He'll see you come out of that one and go another one. Back in the day, you could. No, 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 no. Because I did nope. that. Yeah. Not how I did it. What's the look, bro? I would leave one movie. Got a disguise. I would leave one movie. <laughs> see the dude standing there at the door. Say, hey, what's up? He's like, hey, and I go right over in there and sit down. <laughs> oh, you look like you belong. Right. He like, yep. you know me. That's, see, that's the key. If right. You look like you don't know what the fuck you're doing. They gonna say, hey, come here real quick. Right. You I'm got gonna, your ticket? Vernon, let me just, I'm going to give y'all the game easier on the movie thing. Oh, shit. Go during shift change. When is shift change? Nigga, how we know when shift change is? I mean, I work there. I got to break in the break room now and get a copy of the schedule. Nigga, now it's Ocean's Eleven to see this motherfucker. I was hiding in a locker for 12 hours. Superfly, he the dude in Superfly that know everybody's Hold on, Vernon. This is us in the lobby. Five, four, three, shift change. Wait for him to go. That's not, yeah, we Ocean's Eleven, nigga, coming in, out, walking all fast. You don't have to figure out the time that they <laughs> shift change, right? But you just got to figure out the movie's open at 10, uh, right? Yeah. Okay. Right? Yep. So most people work four hours a day, right? Four hours? What? At, at the movie theater? At the movie they're, kids, they're kids. Uh, they're kids. They're young work. people. So they're yeah, not working work. more than four well, hours. Uh, four uh, hours. Because they're not trying to be full time. They have, they the only do working eight hours is the man with the keys. Yeah. Most people at the movie theater working part time. So you figure four or five hours, right? So if I go to the movies at 12, Whoever coming in when I get out, ain't they didn't see me come in. Right. So I'm just on a smooth rotation, you feel right. me? Right. This is how you that boy do is psychology. All right, go ahead, Bernie. Right. Trying to make fun of me. When you catch a, you catch uh, that nigga, 10 the o'clock and 11 that. o'clock matinee, you there all day. Right, right. That's it. That man, <clears throat> but I can't do, I ain't going to be at the movies from 11 to. No, I do three in a row. After that, that's enough. I can't stay for four, five. Then you, yeah, then you camping out. Bernie, are you there right. till 12 that night? <laughs> no, I only went to one movie at 12 and I ended up we ended up leaving at 3. Yep. That was the uh <clears throat> what was that movie with Tom Hanks? Yeah, it was just the, uh, story. Oh with the ball when he was on the Green island. Mile. Oh, oh, Green oh, Mile. Oh, the one. Tom Hanks Green was in Green Mile. Mile. This movie ain't that long. <laughs> She's yeah. gone. I sat there for 3 and a half. It was that movie was almost 4 hours. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, you picked the wrong movie to try to double down. <laughs> hey Vern, did you go with your uncle or your daddy? <laughs> <laughs> That's cold blooded. What? Right. Just do something. Think I missed the real movie he went to go see. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I told you, I don't you went to saw fatherhood? Nigga, that's hilarious. <laughs> my, my daddy and me. <laughs> my daddy and me. <laughs> He's a porch daddy. <laughs> a porch daddy. A porch daddy. <laughs> Are you my daddy? No. No, no, no. I don't know why they do that pay, pay as you go thing, because I do that shit. I buy one, get one. Pay as what go? Cool. Like, uh, oh, self scanners. Like, oh yeah. Oh, I don't yeah. know why they trying to make me. A, and, and then when I don't feel like right. doing that, and they're like, "Oh, you can go in the self." No, no, no I don't right. work here. I'm waiting for this bitch. Right. That's what I hate when they try to point you over there. Self checkout's open, as it should be, bitch. Nobody <laughs> <laughs> didn't come here to check myself out. Look, I got two out. things, and this bitch gonna scan both. Right. No, but you know Walmart now. 
when so if you do self scanner, Bernie, hold on. If you do self scanner, they scan your receipt now when you're leaving, and they just randomly pick a <laughs> item to yeah. scan it to see. Yeah, that old dude up. though, he's so, guessing. Somebody said this nigga like hit it like a sugar baby. Oh, oh I used to love sugar babies. <laughs> well, I guess. Those are bad for your teeth. Yeah, they must be they after you sucked off the out. chocolate oh, part. Right. Yeah. It's caramel. They pull all your feelings out, sugar babies. I, I, we apologize. Yeah. Yeah. These niggas in the chat room ain't shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Don't let them fuck with me. Oh, you should have seen what? Are you still there, Vernon? <laughs> He's still giving his next hustle <laughs> and my thirteenth hustle. Now listen, when you go to McDonald's, right. you know What you want to do? If you ever thirsty in church, <laughs> thanks, buddy. All you gotta do. <laughs> if they say four twice, just go on up there. They had Vernon in the back like ad libs. <laughs> 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 Uh, I got I got one more. I'll let go one more lick. I think the uh, timeline is past. I can't get arrested. Yeah. So back when my brother used to work at this, uh, let's call it a sport authority. <laughs> let's right? call it a sport they would have They would have like the shoe section. Oh, so okay. as soon as he get there, first thing black people do, we think of it a lick. Like, we got to get something out of this. Can't work for just, you know, <laughs> just paycheck. Paycheck nigga. for just what we get. <laughs> so right. For, being for what we earn. <laughs> so <laughs> my big bro came over to the He like, look, nigga, wear your old shoes. Mm-hmm. Go try your yeah. new shoes. And just leave. Damn. And I thought about it. I said, nigga, that's a genius idea. That's pretty old school. When I tell you we ran this play for probably about four months. Right. And this goofy nigga tried to steal a basketball court. What? The whole thing, though. Nigga with the, the oh, we ain't got nowhere to put it. He got the setup. Nigga, I said, nigga. Oh, my dude stealing nets and yeah, bars at once. You don't know that's why that Lauren going off. Beep, beep. Right. <laughs> nigga got too comfortable. He wheeling the whole basket out of the store. Beep, like, beep, yeah, I'm putting beep, this in somebody's car. Yeah, nigga, yours. Back this way. <laughs> Wait, let's go. So I used to work Ghost at this day. store Uh-oh. in the mall. Uh-oh. Shelly did something. I did. I did. Uh-oh. I was in the group. Of course, Shelly's I was in the group home, and one of the girls told me to do this, and then I did it. you just like, okay. <laughs> but it was like the best thing ever. So there was this little sneaker store. It was a private, I think it was like called Athlete's Foot. Mm-hmm. They're not around there. <laughs> Athlete's Foot. Uh, right. That's a horrible name. It was, co- it was a sneaker foot. store. Co- no, but listen to this. Foot. So we would bring up the shoes. But if oh, a customer gal. if a customer gal. gave you a hundred dollar bill, uh, you could not put it in the oh, yeah. in the register. Yeah. So what people I would do, do, people were getting robbed at that time. Yeah, they, they dude, were, I would it. fold it up. That's when the nigga look at it all 100, 100 times like he know what 100 really look like. Oh, wait a minute now. Ain't know. no lying on this Yeah, one. nigga, you don't know what you looking no. at. Just put it So in. Grant, you, anyway, so before you left, they would check, they would search your bag, they would search everything, make sure you're not stealing anything. Mm-hmm. I would I would roll the, um, the $100 bills up that I would get because they don't know who rang up who yeah, at okay. that time. And so in woman's underwear, I don't know why. <laughs> Damn. Right at I the, like this story. Elaborate right, plot. Right at the crotch area. Right in your pussy. <laughs> right. No, right in the crotch area is like you, there's like it's a, a pocket. T- a tampon pocket? It's a pocket. And That's so called I would, your vagina. I would fold up the hundred dollar bills and stick them in the pocket. In this underwear can't. pocket. The little coin slot in your drawers. No, but they can't, I I they can't, they can't search you like that. And so, so I how much did you have? Hundreds of dollars. Me, Wait, me and you my was, girlfriend would you have You was working at the store? Yes, we were working. And we you were taking hundreds, hundreds of dollars. You putting them in wow. your Wow. Yes. And but aren't you putting on the cash register? Put them in your pussy pocket. I received a, <laughs> <laughs> I received a hundred and I gave right. that change. Your drawer was this, all fucked up. I don't think this up person knew night. how to run the store. Yeah, you we, mean the manager? Like, my girl, my friend that I want to bring. <laughs> the person. Dude, my, my friend that's <laughs> coming here to visit for my birthday, she she stole like a shitload of she sneakers. She was caught a real I don't know how she did. No, but <laughs> right. you, you know what, Shelly, you're right, though, because a lot of companies, if they don't have automated systems. Right. One people are just people are just up. people. Like yeah. when I worked at Twenty Four Hour Fitness, they had the uh, coin lockers where you can right. just put the quarters in there. Got it. So one day they sent me, to, and I'm the manager, so they sent me to go <laughs> empty the coin lockers. <laughs> so just being black, coming from right. I come from, as soon as no I emptied that motherfucker, I, I said, back. I said, Tush. I'm letting the coins. I said, nigga, how are they tracking this? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking around. I said, oh, they ain't got a way to count these motherfuckers. Damn. I said, oh, nigga, tell me we got two quarters beat a whole. <laughs> right. My right. bad. Nobody used them. Probably about eight hundred dollars a day. Right. You know it's bad when the, when the manager yeah. but when he leave stealing it, it too. <laughs> look, when he leave, all you hear is ching <laughs> ching. Shink, shink, Bye, shink. Nick. Look, yeah. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell like you. How I walked out like he was a knight. I'm gonna tell you. Look, I got <laughs> clink clink. I should write a book clink, on this. Clink. I had the ultimate hustle because they, because I was a manager. Right. They trusted yeah, me to take the money knight. to the bank. Oh my what? god. So I had every reason to walk out with a pocket full of money. So the fact that you did, they're like, yeah, we can trust Nick. Let's give him more money to carry around. He always comes back, and he's a good guy. He used to always have money. You Already. show up in a Lexus his second yeah. day at work. What? I, yeah. Last night when I decided I, I need a new car. When I go to the coffee machine, he always buys it for me. <laughs> right. My guy. Right. You got a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> call her what's your name? Where you call her from? 20 Rock 50. Right. DJ out that Vegas one. Nigga again? <laughs> you ain't got shit to do with your life? You thought of something else. There's only two niggas that watch this show. 
Fernie. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're right, my bad. <laughs> did, did you like the video? Make sure you like huh? our video. Make sure you're liking this live while you're listening. Yeah, there's only three likes. And then, no. <laughs> <laughs> nice, make, be nice. We need four, nigga. We need four. <laughs> nice. right. okay, I'm just joking. I love this shit. But I, I gave y'all this, uh, this, this hookup once. But I'm going to say it again. The best thing to do, man, you go somewhere right before they close, any type of food place, and just go, just show up 10 minutes before they close. Mm-hmm. And they're going to give you everything yep. they got left for $5, $10. They don't want to clean it up. Shit. Yep. Yeah, but and sometimes they like it be, be dry. Not fast. Because that happened. Now, Ver, I mean, uh, what's the nigga name? DJ to Vegas. So, Vegas. Look here, nigga. I went to uh, Chipotle. <laughs> Oh, so I yeah. got there maybe mm-hmm. they close at ten. I think I got there at nine thirty. But they so cooped I, the veal though. They think yeah, they but fly. the the, the <laughs> rice was at the bottom yeah. and it was hard. The dry rice. Yeah, <laughs> and I Cambodian said, rice. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. rice they keep putting the nice rice on top. Yeah, yeah. right. So I had that bottom piece. Store, yeah. So I don't like going there when you Chip get the bottom piece. on the rice. Like, what the fuck is in it? Nigga, that's just rice. <laughs> and they ain't had no more queso. <laughs> but they had the spoon in the thing with the queso. Right. They scraping off the spoon. Oh, uh, we just ran out of queso. Oh, sir. That did make it look bad when they scrape the last yeah. bucket before they get the new one out. That, and they're like, <laughs> like hey, I'm good. I'm like you in a prison line. Or some <laughs> Chow time. We got a phone yeah. call. Call her, what's your name and where the fuck you call her from? I'm done with my show. Nigga, we, we hung up for a reason. You was done. <laughs> he said we got hung up. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, niggas don't actually hang up no we more. We got nigga. cut off. <laughs> Like, did you get my text? I'm like, nigga, of course. Nigga. It's a direct message. I thought we just lost service, man. But no, nah, I was going to say, you don't do that at Chipotle, nigga. Not places like that. Where right. Food okay, food where? Like that, just sitting out. You know, yeah, like that's where places, nigga. Yeah, Popeye, places with shit just sitting out already. Mall. Go to the mall food court. Nigga. Right. Oh, the food court? You got to be little or shit. Low. Or go to Popeye's KFC. <laughs> nigga gave me 32 pieces for $5 the other day. Nigga. Damn. Why are you the running, nigga? Are you being chased? What's <laughs> going on, nigga? Y'all can wear some free chicken right now. They drove off in the drive-thru. They got to catch up to them. I forgot your apple pie, my nigga. They got a lunch special, right. and all the lunch stuff get thrown out. I got to get there. If you come to Vegas. I will it's, not. It's always. You'll cool, be there. Cool, you know, you know what I'm saying? If you go to clubs. Right. You don't want to wait that long-ass line. Yep. Slide the, slide the, uh, the bouncer and roll that money. He going to tell you. He might tell you $100 for you and your boy. Get that nigga a 20 and 7 ones. He not going to count that shit. Damn. Yeah, he can't afford to. Right. He can't. You're right. He can't afford to. He can't be looking down. Can't take that L. Right. He got to look like it's incidental contact. He's going to get fired if he can take your money. So that nigga going to get home and count $27 when he thought he had 150 and That's his problem. So, so, so put the dub <laughs> and a couple of ones in there. Make, make it, it a little yeah, thick. Make it look like a knot. Make it. Yeah, make it look like a knot. Give that nigga a 20 on the outside and 7 <laughs> It's $30 for each of y'all to get in the club anyway. Right. So y'all would have spent that. Right. Okay, also, okay. If, if you getting if you getting a hotel or you're getting a rental car, yeah. book the cheapest room or book the cheapest rental car they got. Mm-hmm. When Why? When you get to the counter, they, they ask for your ID. Mm-hmm. Then they ask you for your credit card. Mm-hmm. Then they ask you for your credit card. Then they ask you for your credit card. Then they ask you for your credit card. Then they ask you for your ID. Slide them a twenty. Mm-hmm. Ask them about the upgrade. They are gonna mm-hmm. upgrade your room or your or your rental car for the law. Cause you slid them that twenty. They gonna slide it in their pocket. Nigga, a twenty is making niggas move. Depend <laughs> <laughs> on where you at. You gotta eat. You gotta eat. Depend on where you at. I got this rare two dollar bill. Nigga. <laughs> right, Check this out. Right, right, right. Right, like I don't know about the twenty. I think he's got to be more in the dub. It's like, yeah, it's like my boy on that one movie slid him. What about Ben Franklin? What he say? He like the dude slid it back. Like he don't say nothing to me. <laughs> Come, uh, They're only making twelve dollars an hour, man. Right. Whole That's life. a good point, though. I'm gonna that try that. Time. You move the thing. Come on, stop that moving around. Time. I move what? No he can't sound. hear. Oh shit, nigga. Can't do that at the Hilton. Hit me like that. Um, So the Hilton ain't accepting no hilarious. Right. (laughs) You you know what's funny? So Nakia said the come up at Chipotle now is to go to the pre-order rack and snatch someone's food. Oh yeah. I guess. But you know what's funny? I know people that do this that that do DoorDash and um, Uber Eats, and so when they're picking up the food, they grab somebody else's food also, so they can eat it. Damn. (laughs) While they're working. They just. I just saw that on the news. They said they did a survey. They say. Him over 80% of drivers that deliver your food are meant to taking some of your fries and shit. No, no, no. It's not taking their food because when you're picking up, say you ordered food, I'm picking up your food, but I grab mm. a second bag that's For not. For yourself. Right. No, I'm 
I'm talking about the driver that's bringing your food oh, admitted gross. to eating some of your shit. I would, I never, I would I never do that. I for think sure. that if, if you or if you ask somebody to get fries, you have to take that in consideration. Yeah, like see. they taking two fries. That's why I like when they staple the bag, nigga. Staple no, no. my. It don't matter, nigga. I got a staple right. too. Everywhere. I need that. <laughs> I'm coming up to your door <laughs> doing like this. Your food ready? Oh my gosh! I would never do that. You got queso on the shirt. Oh shit, my bag, nigga. Did you order all these onions? Damn. I'm allergic oh. to onions, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. All right. I need my bag outside oh. looking like train tracks. Right. <laughs> I want my shit stapled up like it's a biological hazard. Nigga. I don't want no random hey, look, nigga, nigga touching my shit. Next time, you should try the one without the mushroom. Right. right. Way better. Nigga. Shit, I'm OCD. I can't. That's the problem now. We got random niggas doing everything. Like, hey, I can drive over there and get your food for you. Nigga, who is you? You put in transmissions during the day. Your hands ain't clean enough to be touching oh. food, nigga. I want no nigga with dirt on it now. Here go your food, my nigga. <laughs> like, just drop it in the door. I got you extra napkins. <laughs> right, they got grease stains I on the napkins. I said this shit earlier. I don't understand. You had to be a fat motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, to sit and order some fries. <laughs> right. From McDonald's, from Uber Eat, right? Mm. Have a nigga and, drive them to you. Yeah, and you around the corner, right. From McDonald's, no, right? No. That's lazy. I refuse to do that. Yeah, that's just too. That's that. I mean, I've done that before. Chipotle is a like five minute walk. I I Uber Eat it. No, I can't. No, yeah. I, I gotta see my meal made. Right. I, I, I don't can't trust let nigga make my like meal. That. I don't trust. No, yep. They tried to poison us in a rock with the water. They, one they time. use that I don't other trust really, nobody making my food. Anybody notice that Chipotle don't use spoons that have the deep the deep cup of Yeah, that little shallow shit. You got the shallow spoon. The little ass. Aztec then spoon. Add, <laughs> <laughs> then they got a, a piece of wood and shit. You got to see them. They got a shake on it when they grab it. <laughs> right. I say, hey, 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 nigga, don't shake the, get yeah. that. Don't you hate when they knock off that one yeah. piece of chicken? Like, nigga, if, you don't, if you don't put that back, nigga, right. like, you don't I'm going to cancel this whole motherfucker. You don't need all that. That's too much for you. Oh, you the motherfucker like breathe time. when you said, I said extra. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, man, I'm right. That's usually the bitch at Subway. It's like you hit me. Bitch, hit me. Hit right. me again. Hit me again. <laughs> right. 21. Lomo. Hit me, bitch. Lomo. Lomo. I, hate, going. I hate when they tell you it's a dollar more. I don't give right. a fuck, bitch. Right. Right. Can I get it in ad to walk uh, it, That's a dollar. <laughs> right. Nigga, I got the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> they look at you that's first and see, asking, see what you're wearing. Like, you know it's a dollar more. <laughs> well, bitch, give me three of them. Because I got it. I'll make it rain guacamole in this bitch. <laughs> Matter of fact, get the nigga behind me, guacamole. I don't give a fuck if he's allergic <laughs> or not. Because I can't. I'm Uncle Maestro, goddammit. Guacamole, this well, motherfucker. When they start adding I'm that allergic. shit up, though, it's a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, not for yours, then. I'm I got allergic. it. Oh, that should be, be $13.95. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Actually, look, I fault. don't want the special. Right. Man, but you asked for extra. I'm sorry. I got a little carried away. Can you take off some of this guacamole? <laughs> <laughs> How much are the tomatoes? <laughs> yeah. Tomatoes free. This or pocket. that time you got like $10.50 and the shit is like. 1060. Yeah, right. It's like 1061. Uh, that little that little mess up that they do. Then really there's a line behind you and you're trying to get right. it. Ain't nobody volunteered to give oh you a nickel. No, nobody. Oh, yeah, you're not going to get uh, no, so no change I, in the fast food line. Nah. Nigga. That's the wrong place to get why, change. Why buddy waiting on you in this nickel though? You know, right. you know what I always the, look at? The little donation jar that'd be right there with, <laughs> right. with the kids. I'd be like, I can get my thumb in that motherfucker. <laughs> right. I look at that first hoping he going to say something before just I do. Take it. Just, well, the tray at 7-Eleven, you can just go Yeah, you can just scoop that out. Scoop that they kind of look at they, you they when generate. you do that, though. Yeah, uh, if, you if gotta you, put something back in there too, like make it look like, oh, he got drop in a penny, take out two quarters. <laughs> I think they get a little <laughs> self satisfaction from seeing us have it have to go to that little penny right. penny thing. Oh, nigga, go I'm ahead. In, yes, I'm in ninety nine cent store. This old lady, nigga. Oh, when I say yeah. held her the line, and motherfuckers yeah. was leaning to make sure the bitch seed or heard her. They, <laughs> 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 niggas was dropping shit, really? right? <laughs> and then, then it was then the motherfucker <laughs> said. It's seven five nine, seven forty eight. It's bitch gave seven dollars. I had the forty eight. Everybody went. <laughs> Just get because she had the dollar for the eight dollars, but she's Damn. like, I had the forty eight, oh, and she, she went to her out. pocketbook. That bitch said, "Old school." I think the the worst people at Seven Eleven are the lotto people. Oh yeah, because oh, yeah. oh. they not gonna move out the line. Them in the cigarette. Yeah, them in the cigarette. Yeah, people. them niggas. The cigarette. No, I said three boxes of Marlboro. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, right. with, with the right. with the filter and one without. Right. I think if you don't get your cancer ass out <laughs> right. the way, or the nigga with his dream diary, like give me one, 14, 22, oh, yeah. 13, <laughs> 9, That's my brother's birthday. <laughs> Seven. Like nigga, just get the computer to do it. God damn it, you ain't gonna win. As soon as you get through with that one. Yeah, now my grandma. Won't, <laughs> right. Um, now these is my other numbers. I she tell you don't know shit about this. So the buffer, <laughs> so the, the shit is in the thing. It's a line. I just want to get gas. Right. And right. My man go, give me the number two. Give me four of those. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Picking them out. And man. then he going to stand there and scratch them. Oh, hell no. At uh, the counter. I think I got a win on this. <laughs> right. <laughs> At the counter. Give me two more of these. Right. <laughs> 
looking back at you. Give me one second. Give me one second. Yeah, like he's doing his taxes. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. <laughs> and I'm going to get it. Oh, so the lover had to, big, he did all this shit and had to big up on the thing. Nigga, and knocked over knocked the big over girl. Knocked over the big oh, The Latino yeah. girl went, who oh, that touch up for mine? That bitch was hot. Oh, she didn't have a tap. And the white dude went, ah, shit. <laughs> and the white took half his cup. I'm going to go fill it. <laughs> He oh went my god. And filled it back up. Wow. He just stepped over the spill. Right. Thank you. Nigga slipped in the spill. Didn't got to slip it, but I'm suing you niggas now. <laughs> He's still drinking on the laying on the ground. He brought three napkins back. Right. <laughs> Damn. Right. This big ass spill. See, He's that's not them goofy. The big gulp. See. 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 You don't know. You, you know old enough. What? Remember when the big gulp, you fold it and put the snap on it? You don't remember the, the big cup? No, when the big ass, the was big going ass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's back when they put the, the handle on the cup. Yeah, back no, in the not day. that one. Not it was that a, one. It was a one that looked like yeah. it was made out of uh, the styrofoam, the, like for uh, your milk, like a milk carton type oh, joint. And it come up, right? Put the stuff ice in, don't really fold it down, and a clamp, nigga. Right, nigga, you was here when you walked out. That's too much. What? Yeah, that's way too much. That's for the niggas with diabetes now. That's drinking a gallon of soda. Right, what is soda, nigga? It was like just sugar water with some. Ice. Nigga, I was, was 21. Killing. I thought that was uh, I ain't drink water. Kool Aid, icy. Then. Right. <laughs> exactly. It was way. It was just all straight corn syrup. Yeah, I like when niggas is way too young. She she was in the shelter, so they ain't, right. they, they ain't go to Seven Eleven. Uh, icy. That was on birthdays we only. Seven Eleven. But where did we <laughs> go? Where did Seven Eleven start? We went to another A and P. No, where did they oh, start? Shit, I, uh, I'm What's assuming the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, That's damn. so racist. Damn. Hey, man, I ain't, I ain't it's making it's work there. Start in the Middle East. Oh, they brought it over to America, and we love that shit. <laughs> like, what? You gonna sell everything? From, from 7 one to 11. From 7 to 11. It was some other word, but we translated to 7 Eleven. Right. But numbers. is that why it's 7 Eleven? It's open no. from 7 to. Oh, no. I don't know. It, it, it used to be. Now that don't mean shit. Back in the it day. It started in Texas. Uh, first 7 Eleven started in Texas. Uh, <laughs> the Middle East. The Middle East. The Middle Pakistan, East. <laughs> Right. So, well, they, well, maybe they, got a, the, they can get the loan before us. Right. right. <laughs> it was first they started out only selling sandals and cigarettes, nigga. <laughs> and then it was like, wait a minute, we can do better. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas, it's thirsty. It's a desert. <laughs> what <laughs> can we do to capture the thirsty crowd? Let's get big gulps and lotto <laughs> right. tickets. Sugary <laughs> drinks, nigga. Sugary yeah, drinks. Baseball and hats. Promise of being rich for broke people. They do oh, have enough bootleg yeah. baseball hats. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. You the get back be turned the wrong way. <laughs> the initials upside down. <laughs> Semi league. <laughs> Semi league. They're gonna love these taquitos. <laughs> exactly. Gonna love them. Nigga, that's how the station. Buddy, is. that's when you come in. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hey, for you niggas eating the Seven Eleven food, <laughs> nigga, stop. Kill oh, yourself, who's right? Because you were the rolling right. hot dogs, nigga. <laughs> oh, the, rolling the rolling hot dogs. dogs been in there for days. Cause look, if you ask Wait, one, you get picky. No, that right. that, that burnt one. Nah, he didn't yeah. did pick your the shit up already. This one, nah, nigga. What is Hand. It's not the plug, oh, crispy one right there in no, the back. I got no, it. My bag. I got it. He pick it up with his hand and then grab his gloves to get the, get the bread. <laughs> <laughs> you put the gloves on to get my bread, nigga. Oh, shit. Yeah. Bread. Then exactly. he take it out of his hand with the tongs. Like, <laughs> put that in the bread. Out his hand with the <laughs> No, it's people you said a goat bite, right? Right. Because now they have burgers. They got right. now now the, the motherfucking nachos because you can put yeah. as much chili and shit that you want on. Yeah, it. see, and you always overspill. Oops, shit. Um, <laughs> I need another bowl. <laughs> right. And, and, and right. Clean up on two. <laughs> yeah, the nigga so, got to be part chef, part gas station attendant. <laughs> now this nigga go straight from mopping the floor and cleaning the toilet. There. What kind of hot dog you want, bro? Oh, Let me get that donut. Oh, I threw the pizza in the oven. I said, what is this? <laughs> nigga touching everything in the store. You coming in with a black light, nigga. This nigga fingerprints on everything. <laughs> and you said you want hot wings, right, brother? <laughs> right. Three nigga, or four. PP prints on every goddamn thing in the store. Every wall. Got nigga this get nigga you a pizza and then hand you the bathroom key. <laughs> Right. Hear the cold boy. It's somebody listening to show going. That nigga in line. Nigga about to eat a pizza. <laughs> right. Oh Ain't never thought God. about it. That nigga's mouth water. I'm going to 7-Eleven. Give me one of them hot dogs. Nigga, Ugh, they just ruined it for me. Yeah, nigga, <laughs> them is dirty. Them is dirty. <laughs> them is dirty. Oh, hot dog. What you said? Hot dogs on the... Them rolling hot dogs. <laughs> rolling, rolling dogs. <laughs> you get picky. No, that one ain't good. <laughs> right. Yeah, the, the, one the one that's sweating. Get that one that's sweating. Hey, Habib, how long these been on? Nigga? Right. Or the pizza carousel, nigga, where they keep the door closed uh, like that's doing something. Hold on. Is Haji here? Let me speak to Haji. <laughs> he make my pizza How racist right. was that cartoon? Oh, my God. There was a cartoon. Johnny Quest, Johnny nigga. Quest. And Johnny Quest's best friend name was Haji. Yeah. With the was turban. Really it was more racist With than South the Park. Turban. Ja South Park, you knew what it, you yeah, know what South that's Park. about. I, should, I didn't. Oh, yeah. That, that cartoon was a cartoon, but right. they named dude. 
Oh, back the, in the seventies, John, John West was a real try. It wasn't like I literally have right. seen South Park. And so one time, my girlfriend and I flew out to Texas. We were hosting a party. We walk into the hotel room. The TV's on, and mm-hmm. it's South Park. And oh, so I'm just shit. like listening. Like I'm not you paying it was attention. Just a cartoon. I did. And so all of a sudden, I hear, <laughs> nope. "Hey, Token!" And it's like this black. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. I said, oh, "Why yeah, are you calling Token?" token? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what in the world? Like, what is this? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a lot no, of people. Did say oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, the nigga's name, name is Token. token. <laughs> he been Token he for 15 so seasons. I, I, I'm there. <laughs> so you know they took they took uh, uh, token since Boondocks the 90s. off. Right. But That's Boondocks crazy. is back oh, yeah. on. It's on if you have uh, Netflix or if you have uh, Is it? Hulu. Oh, they put Hulu. on the episodes you know, yeah, on there. Yeah, yeah. So Boondocks was the Michelle's shit. just chilling, watching Boondocks, nigga. They said nigga. Right. 45. Look at nigga. So Michelle went. What are you watching? This is a bitch boondock. <laughs> it's a cartoon. So the but nigga said, nigga, what? Nigga, what? Shit, nigga. And I was sitting there going, yeah, they kind of heavy on the niggas right. today. He and, said, and granddad was, Riley thought his name was nigga. Yeah. Till, till, <laughs> right. That might be what the funniest. It, it was the yeah. episode when, oh, fuck, I gotta remember the fucking episode. I, oh, when the white girl put it. Oh, so the, the rapper. Oh, uh, 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 Charlie Murphy or the white yeah, dude? Yeah, but what was his name? No, no, uh, no, the, no. It wasn't Charlie Murphy. Cause Charlie was dead already. So it was another rapper who, who, uh, who, who, the, who his wife thought was cute or it was cool, and because he took control. I said, <laughs> nigga. Oh, it was the it was the uh, the breezy parody, wasn't it? I guess season right. uh, the last season. Yes. Yes. Nigga. The was whole the... episode was nigga, and the nigga said, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nigga, nigga. Yeah. They wow. they I literally they literally <laughs> named him like Breezy or something like that. Yeah. Like he's he's and the dude with the one with the yeah. one eye. What's the motherfucking name? I don't uh, like Uncle, Uncle, Ruckus. Uncle Ruckus. Oh, okay, so yeah. Uncle there. Ruckus is why I stopped watching it because he what? did. Stopped. He made us. They did a song called "Them New Niggas Over There." That's. I'm sorry. <laughs> that I was, kept watching. That right. was the line for me. Like, uh, was, what, it, what was it called? Them new niggas. Don't trust them new niggas over there. He said, "Nigga nostrils sucking up all the air." Don't trust That's my boy, the new too. niggas over oh, there. I said man. it was such a good song. I said I can't, I can't support this. Oh, nigga. nigga, that was classic. My the, boy Gary Anthony Williams, shout out. He did the Uncle Ruckus voice. The fact. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's yeah. called what again? Don't, don't you trust, don't trust it. Yeah, go ahead. He's about to pull it up. There. And there was a whole song where it sang about old oh, man. If you go <laughs> back to the um the uh, story shit. of Catcher Freeman episode, they mm-hmm. are singing it and and <laughs> that whole episode, they're showing yeah. two different perspectives. One is a free man called Catcher Freeman, <laughs> and then the other one. Nigga, that's is hilarious. A catch a free man, and yeah. the other one is Catch a Freeman. That, that <laughs> that's Uncle Ruckus's perspective. Right now, now Catch Catcher <laughs> Freeman. Play, play, play. Play. Oh my, my name God. is Uncle Ruckus. No relation. No relation. <laughs> I want to sing y'all a brand new song. Is I just drunk? wrote. That's how you sound. Don't that's trust them sober. new niggas over there. Sober. sober um. Hang along if you know the way. <laughs> You get feedback in the bucket. Don't right. trust them new niggas. Oh, you sound like you a little bit. Who? <laughs> Me? <laughs> well, I was doing his voice. That's what I. Oh, this is you? <laughs> yeah, no, I was oh. imitating his voice when oh. I did it. Nah, this is Gary Anthony Williams that actually doing the voice. Don't trust them new niggas. Oh, <laughs> Don't trust them big nostrils. Over it went into acoustics. <laughs> this shit got clear. This is when they start showing the, t- the pictures of what Don't he's talking about. And it was hella racist. This when they wanted to get him out of there. Right. The white people. He said, oh Don't trust them new niggas, them spider monkey fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Don't See, I trust. never saw this one. He said, Don't this. trust them new niggas with their quick fingers on the triggers. <laughs> he, but the one that got him kicked off was the Tyler Perry one. <clears throat> yeah. That's Did it? Got. Oh, yeah. That's what got kicked off. Why? What did he do? I didn't well, see that one. You oh, know, the running hell. joke was, well, the running thing was Tyler Perry, when you go audition for him, if you would do, you had to take your shirt off, no matter <laughs> what the scene is. So, so uh, Pops, yeah. the play, uh, a play came in town, the, the Tyler Perry play, and they just did Tyler Perry play in town, <laughs> and they were auditioning. So Pops wow. goes down to audition because he wants to do something he different. He always wanted to. <laughs> right. <laughs> and he said, the problem is you gotta take your shirt off. <laughs> take your shirt off for what? <laughs> you gonna audition for Tyler Perry? And and the next day, Tyler Perry called the motherfucker and said, "I will snatch all my shit off the air. Damn. You either get rid of that shit or we out. 
Damn. Damn. And that was the last, and then that's why they're on fucking Hulu. And the mm. the rapper on Boondocks name was Thug Nificent. Thug, yeah, yeah, Thug that's Nificent. It. That's who it was. <laughs> One of the greatest rap names of all time. <laughs> Thug Nificent. Thug. Uh, yeah. What was the white rapper's name? It was a white oh, dude that shit, Charlie Murphy was that. doing the voice for the oh, white dude. Oh, yeah, he sure it's, was. Uh, Riley's homeboy. Riley, yeah. yeah, yeah. He was like, you got to watch it. His parents was rich and shit, but he's trying to be all Boondocks. Boondocks. That's what they're saying To me, Boondocks. Yeah, that was classic. Especially in the beginning, very enlightening. Then you find out that Regina Hall's doing the voices. She's killing that shit. Right. Monster. But man, when that motherfucker said, nigga, it's a soul out of niggas, niggas, everything was nigga. And then the next door neighbor is, he's married to a white girl. So they always fuck with him. Oh, he be going, he, he, he takes so L's you, every day. Yeah. You two shades from being white. You think you could? You think you come in here and just? <laughs> the funniest shit is you know the, Tom. I like you because you got a white wife. What's the blind dude's name? Huh? Oh, stink meaner. Okay, so stink somebody stepped problem, on dog. stink meaner shoes. Mm. Keep in mind he's blind. Oh, he said, "You scuff my shoes, nigga!" <laughs> <laughs> and he was about to shoot the nigga. Ain't about to fight because he it? scuffed his shoes. I'm thinking he's blind though. Right. Nigga, which is from the "Do the Right Thing." Oh my god! Oh my god! Which was a great moment in "Do the Right Thing" when the white boy ran over his shoes. He said, "Oh, he ran on the <laughs> new Jordan." Right. That's when motherfuckers, nigga. You, if you got even yeah. near the Jordans, they yeah. would lose their fucking mind. Right. Who's calling, nigga? We trying to go. Uh. Uh. Who's calling? It can only be one. <laughs> call it what's your name where you call them oh my god y'all talking about boondocks there have been some episodes where i had to cut it off it was so fucking funny yeah, they yeah. <laughs> the one where they did r kelly oh, damn, oh that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So I remember that. before they even got in there they got into it and somebody threw a uh, threw some chicken oh my god <laughs> this is fucking funny. Yeah, if you've never watched it with y'all, I don't know how you're black and you never I've, watched it. Hello, there's a lot of things oh, I've never watched. Um, <laughs> I got you, Shelly. I show you. We'll have a film festival. Right. <laughs> also, if you sensitive, don't watch it. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, if no the word letters. nigga bothers you. Yeah, if you write a letter, it's going to go on deaf ears and they go on. <laughs> but this is... I, 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 I will say they got they got some of the best parodies though. Like oh, the way they the way they reel things back in for it to really relate to everybody. Yeah, yeah Aaron McGruder. So, and, and, and I'll say uh, uh, Family Guy. Yeah, they, yeah. when they I, funny, when I really yeah. started to watch That's just it, funny. Family and, Guy and, is and then you find out that that the dog is trying to fuck the mom, <laughs> right. and the only person <laughs> that can hear the baby is the dog. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And the dog and the baby conversate all day long, but nobody know they're talking. That shit would trip me out. And, and then they say, "Well, the dog is prejudiced." He said, "I'm not prejudiced." And the white dude walked, by, the brother walked by, and he barked. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was gonna lose my <laughs> fucking mind. Well, they that do say that dogs classic. don't like black people. Yeah, and that, that they played classic. on that. And and the pedophile, which is the pedophile, yeah, oh yeah. So God. so it's an old dude who wants oh, always a little boy. They want candy. Wants, oh my, so, Stewie, yeah, I want some candy. So so what happened was they needed somebody to babysit, <laughs> and the old dude. Said, oh, you talking about Quagmire? No, the old dude next door. I watch. Oh, oh yeah, I watch the little fat one. Yeah, <laughs> and he told he told the girl he told the door. Now you go back home. <laughs> right. <laughs> ah, ah shit, I like. But it's that. like this in your face comedy. Right. The fact I like Quagmire. Said, Myers ass though that motherfucker will oh, kill yeah. it. He don't. He'll fuck anybody. A giggity giggity. <laughs> that nigga get excited. Giggity giggity. The fact y'all just said something about this dog situation, and <laughs> I was with a dog the other day that was confused if he wanted to walk up to me or not. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that, egg no egg. You're tricking me. Oh. <laughs> Maybe he was lactose intolerant. Chicken or egg. That was a good one. I felt that. Chicken or egg. Uh, egg no egg. What came you first? Anyway, so those are dope. dope com- uh, Shows to watch, definitely. Uh, did we make a pick for the for, for them to check out? Uh, for sure. No. What would you suggest well, don't for forget. the weekend? Oh, I told you, uh, Power. Oh, that's right. Power's coming back. Shelly, what about you? What's your suggestion for the weekend? To for watch. The, Hello. For the fans to watch. Thirteen Reasons Why it comes oh, out tomorrow, shit. season three. <laughs> that's what I'll be binging. Have your tissues ready. Yeah. <clears throat> it's not sad. Yes, it is. The yeah, bitch is not. dead. It's about a dead teenager. It's kind of sad. It's not sad. <laughs> it's it's sad. enlightening. Okay. Egg, what you got? Um, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I'm just going with the chat room. My bad. <laughs> I, Nigga, I mean, they bad? already said the good <laughs> ones. I'm either to say, I'm mean, either say American Gods or Euphoria. It's, hmm. it's, it's, Euphoria, you I haven't ever watched that. Yeah, I ain't you ain't caught Euphoria. up on it, boy. I can't get it. American Gods is fine. The right. angsty I'll, little girl with the drug issue on Euphoria. I'll, t- I'll like, tell man. you straight up, I I was in that same realm too, because it's like we going a little, we going a little, a little young to be telling this story, but. 
Nah, they they still keep it tasteful. Yeah, okay. It's still pretty tasteful. And and but uh, it's very don't forget uh, uh, Wu Wu Assassin. Oh, Fire. oh yeah, Wu Assassin. Go ahead. You got I'm, gonna go with, I'm gonna go with Mine Hunters. That's my shit. The oh, book, that's good. That's dope. What book, is that? The dude that when the FBI first started profiling serial killers, this was the dude that started it. Oh, so he had to go to the prison and interview. Uh, he doing like Charlie Manson and Wayne Gacy, mm. and he got to go in there with his little tape recorder from the seventies. And the FBI boss think it's all bullshit. He think he an egghead because you know he old Can school. Egghead, you no, really? No, pun, right. no pun intended. <laughs> right. I was like, wait, oh what, yeah, really? I wasn't thinking about that. No, no, no disrespect. But they thought he, they think he just some smart dude because he got his master's degree and shit. Shout all out to Sally. It's old school, right? And go see the boys. The boys. Yeah, that's Fox, the Fox one said I it was funny. The Go bo- see the no, boys. No, no, oh, no. the movie, the boys, or the TV not the, show. Not the good boys. The series. The oh, boys you mean watch on, it, not go see it. What's the video? boys? The boys oh, on video. That's the superheroes going bad. The boys on Prime Video. Super. Yeah, it's a show. It's a series. Shit. Oh, it's, it's hot. Yeah, no. it's got a Carl Urban is the main dude in it. So that is sick, dope. That's I saw the that. sickest one I'll, in my movie. That's fly. That should be coming out really soon. All Star Weekend. We had a a dildo scene. It's a dildo? Dildo Wait, what's scene. this then? <laughs> so we had a dildo <laughs> scene in All-Star Weekend, the movie I, I wrote and Fox oh, okay. directed. So the, the, some people that was associated with making sure that we get the money for the movie mm-hmm. said that, hey, man, y'all got to take that scene out no, with, yeah. uh, what's her name, the Latino girl from ha- the Housewives and shit. Uh, the, Eva Longoria? Yeah. So Eva, we do it, and they cut it out. She so was Fox doing cut, it, or she was Well, she, it she had it in there. So what it is, yeah. they're in the truck. And she, it's it's long story. Anyway, she was acting. So they it. cut it out. Okay. So Fox goes to see the Good Boys. Right. <laughs> he said, "Nigga, it's dildos all the oh, way through the fucking exactly. movie." Exactly. And but it's it's they movie. Right. The so was Fox said, "Nigga, we put that shit back in the movie because the shit is funny as mm, fuck." Really. But you know they you know because they they always critique nigga right. shit. When Harder. we have to depend on them to get it done. Harder, mm-hmm. right. They, they, yeah, you can't do a week. But he did say the, the good boys is, is pretty good. Yeah, it looked kind of funny about the little boys just trying to get trying their to first kiss. Get a kiss. Trying to get yeah. their first kiss. Yeah. When they was on the sex swing, nigga, I was weak. He was like, your parents got an indoor swing? They was all on that motherfucker. <laughs> then the girl came in like, you know that's not what that's for. She's like, I was born on that. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it. Oh, oh, that's that's pretty pretty oh you saw it. Nah, I didn't see the Hilarious. Oh. <laughs> I just then at the it. end, I'm nigga, the previews. He, right. said I, he said, I wrote that one line. I right. That one line and in the bitch dies. It's crazy. <laughs> right. It's crazy. All right, yeah, be- that part was Before crazy. we get out of here, uh, chat room, everybody go to YouTube and look at the short film called Guilty. Uh, one of my close friends just put it up. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, she wrote and produced it. Or at least directed one of the two. So? So check it out. Oh, I'm gonna play, play a little <laughs> clip of it. I'm gonna play a little some of it yeah, at the end of the show today. My mic was on. <laughs> Listen, yeah. go like this live right now. There's 144 <laughs> of y'all watching, only 66 of y'all liked it. So come Damn. on. Damn. Hey, yeah, man. What the Help us out. I mean, that's the lead. We're not asking fuck for fuck money. Up. We're asking for likes. Just press, press a, a thumbs button. up. Right. Thumbs up. Thumbs All you up. got to do is right. press that button. Man, if you done commented anything about right. my head, nigga, you better <laughs> right. hit a like. Oh, hit a, a share. Like. Right. You better share this bit. I don't <laughs> let you get jokes <laughs> off. I didn't right. even really look. I know. You I go watch. back and look at y'all pictures, man. I'm I'm finna be firing off on your IG. Don't <laughs> expect to go to sleep. <laughs> on your IG. <laughs> I know when you wash your face, you don't know when to start. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I'm my collar wet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Just keep going. That's, that's pretty funny, Pop. I've <laughs> <laughs> been here forever. <laughs> hey, I got shit behind me here. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> you know. Knock on his neck. Nigga, <laughs> 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 nigga shave, nigga, and go, oh, yeah. <laughs> You know you gotta do that double shake, get everything right. off. I'll tell you straight up, I, I, I try in one swipe. Tap. I try in one swipe cool. like the movies. I do right. try that shit. One right. swipe, one swipe like the movies. So why not just I'm go on and just it. say fuck it? I do. This shit is. It's, it's exhausting. exhausting. It's right. Brilliant. Doing it's this. I'm gonna say <laughs> ten years old. It started going because you was here at, at eight. He said at ten. You know. At eight, you hear when stress no. kicked in. Yeah. <laughs> I got brain. homework. No I'm carrying a briefcase and drinking coffee at eight years old. I ain't eat I, eggs no more. Like, <laughs> right. It started like like twenty twenty two. This dude in my high school like that though. This motherfucker was almost bald by the time we was juniors in high school. He looked like somebody's daddy and shit. Like, damn, this nigga got stress in his life. I, I kind of knew what was going on. I know you, was a, I know you went to the barbie like you were fake. No, 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 don't touch the top, nigga. <laughs> Leave it alone. What's funny don't is, you dare. You know when nature about to grow mine out. <laughs> you know when right. God cut your hair, he you don't cut it even. Right. <laughs> he just put stops and spots. <laughs> 
Oh, like a baby man. lighter. <laughs> Digging and there ain't no going dead. back when he touched. He now when t- you first blow it on your top, touched, on your top, come on. And you, when you know when he removed what he removed, <laughs> who do not man. bring it back. Right, you feel exactly. Me? What did what did we do when he's six years old? Grab me, said, You look so soggy. All right, <laughs> <laughs> uh, get some more. Right, he got <laughs> nine of them. <laughs> Dead was fascinating back in the day. <laughs> it wasn't shit, but you know. Right, it fucked up your allergies, but it was fun to watch for a minute. <laughs> shit, blowing all that but bullshit nigga, around. I told myself whenever the jacuzzi break in, nigga, <laughs> the it's, jacuzzi, it's, yeah. it's Frankie Beverly hat. Yeah. Somebody said he had eczema. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga, when you I get the black lie. halo, I, I it's get to time to point. go. You get the black <laughs> halo, nigga. Somebody said this is exhausting. <laughs> I get to that point where it's just a nigga get tired of shaving. Right, straight every up. day you got yeah. it. I know your hat day, game is a motherfucker though. Hat game is nice. Hat game real. nice. I know you like in the closet hat like shoot. Real nice. <laughs> Hey, this this week been a comfortable week, but hat game real nice. <laughs> yeah, you took a chance in this moment. You, oh, you thought it was radio. Somebody, yeah, yeah, somebody yeah, yeah, said so. play excited on the way out. Might <laughs> 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 give you information. <laughs> These niggas are. Awesome. I can't even lie. It be it be crazy how you get all the jokes whenever you. Niggas right. at home chilling. When you, they got when you can't see them and they can see you, yeah, niggas is powerful. Them, they, hey, that's a low blow, it, though. These niggas can't even read. <laughs> I think, like, uh, most of them just found out they have this superpower. Right. Oh, I can, I can tap into this. The coach, right. he got a brush. Somebody like, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> man. I got bangs, nigga. Right. They're going to they gonna be mad when I bring my in my comb for my beard. Right, exactly. They're going to be, because I do got a comb for the beard. start to go? Yeah, I just took mine all the way anyway, bro. I went with it. I was like, Start shaving. I started shaving mine like probably eight. The black man shaver? Or yeah. you use I had one of them, but it wasn't that great. I was like, eh, I got the one with the wheels on it and shit. I was like, oh, the wheel. nigga, they got one you put on your middle finger now with wheels uh, on so, the back. Yeah. That really? shit, I was like, yeah, it's cool for a minute, but it wasn't that much smoother. I'm like, I can do it quicker with a regular razor. Like, ski, ski, ski. <laughs> right. Yeah, hey, no. baby, hand me that WD-40. Nigga, man. I did one <laughs> right. time, nigga. I said, fuck it. I'm going to cut it off. Right. And I, nigga, I didn't check. Oh, shit. So I had a nice little strip of hair. <laughs> he missed the spot. <laughs> he always said, hey, sweet, you missed the spot. What? <laughs> oh, no. Right, and I did like this. You got ah. rub it. Yeah, you get out the house and rub it, and you feel a whole patch. And you're nah, like, God you, you damn you it! Gotta, you spend at least ten minutes on the check, at least. Yeah, you got to check. I was in the rush. Was in yeah, the rush. if you just try to quick swipe it, nigga, you gonna yeah, miss a whole strip. So... It's gonna look like a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't like that word. Oh, sorry. I'm Plus starving. She's she gonna look like no, a I hate that word. I don't oh, mind shit. vagina. Oh, oh God she... damn it, Speedy. Right. It's reverse. She likes it, Jana. Pussy, she don't like. Don't say pussy on the radio. She doesn't like it. Or ever in life. We'll never say pussy again here. Never say pussy. Never hear no more pussy. Okay, give me your information. I'm so hungry. I'm starving. Please. Maestro Clark 100. I thought I said it. (laughs) You said pussy. I'm so hungry. (laughs) Right. (laughs) (laughs) I made my mouth water a little bit. That's disgusting. Hey. Hey, you I'm sorry for Tony. With, that totally did us, not Shelly. come out in the right, right. context. Give me an egg salad. <laughs> <laughs> that actually sounds good. Oh my God. It's Maestro Clark 100. M Y S T R O C L A R K 100. Hit the like button, follow Maestro Clark, Mike. Yeah, there you go. Go ahead, brother. Man, and there's room. But I don't know what to say, but oh, the information here. Oh, website, whatever. Oh, website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Find me at Inez Rome, A N A Z R H O M E. You can find me anywhere there. No one's got my name. I ain't worried about it. <laughs> now, Inez, now, you're going to get Dame Dame here. Oh, yeah. I yeah, need him, that's, bro. That's. Did Dang you call him Ned? I can't, I can't Dang, promise Dang. you a time, but yeah. Oh, yeah did you call him Ned? We're going to get him here. <laughs> Nez, Nez. Oh, I Nez. thought he said Ned. Hey, like, hey, 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 oh, hey, I said, hey. Damn. Nez? Hey, you're an egg, egg in every sentence now. <laughs> yeah. They tainted my brain, my bad. Right. Right. Nez, oh, Nez. Wow. My I thought you said Nez. I'm like, did you call him short for egg? He mixed two words together and put an egg on the end. Yeah, Nez. It's the beginning of my name and put it with shit. Shout out to Nez for coming through, man. You said who get but Dame? Yeah. Dame yeah, who? Dame, Dame, Dame. I do content <laughs> creation at Dame. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that'll work. So, um, <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, he, if he see it, hey, Dame, you already know what it is. I'm going to ask you tonight. Hey, bro. I'm going to ask you tonight, hey, yeah, tomorrow, come, one of these Support days. some black shit. Yeah, come on here and educate the black people. I can't lie. We're over at. We're over in Burbank at Dame Dash Studios every Wednesday for Blue Rock Wednesdays. It's music, hmm. great vibes, healing is gangsta, a therapy session with uh, Dame and Tajay. Oh, it's a really good vibe. Now, is, is Dame Dash is healing, nigga? That's, that's, yeah, that's a good title. Hey, get up, nigga. <laughs> you heal, nigga. Get your ass up, yeah. Yeah. Douse yourself in this 40, nigga. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, nigga. Now put them blue shoes on, punk. <laughs> 
They do it every Wednesday? Every, every Wednesday. We've been oh, rocking shit. for about two months now. That's they dope. got food over there, too? Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I can't even Devil lie. Eggs. On, That's why you can't lay, because ain't no food. <laughs> on my days, on <laughs> Sundays, <laughs> like this I Sunday, we got, medicated, uh, we got a medicated uh, concessions. Oh, shit. Got this girl from... Her company's called sessions. Nothing's Wrong. And, you got a uh, weed bar. She makes, <laughs> okay. Yeah, she makes, all, but she makes fully loaded fries type shit. Wait, what? She oh, makes dope, tacos. Dope, dope. Oh, shit. Actual food. You make weed tacos Infused. and weed, weed fries? Tacos, weed oh, fries. Oh, shit. Like, she makes everything that. medicinal. Yeah, I'd be, med- I'd be um, toe up. Is, oh, is, open bar. Is Dame into the, the, mar- the medical marijuana entry yet? Yeah. Okay, because yeah. I, I see him every time I go to the shop. I've seen him up there. He got a whole vibe called Dusko that he'll he would love to tell you. Yeah, we trying to sponsor it, man. Yeah. Come to come do the show. Okay? <laughs> it is. I'm trying but to yeah, sponsor. We're make this work. All right, uh, go ahead. Instagram and YouTube, Miss Shelly Rio, M S S H E L L Y R I O. Go give me a follow. She is so not us. Yeah, she was mm-hmm. nice and quiet. Somebody yeah, said, well, smooth and sexy. again. It was a whole, it was a whole another, Shelly, a whole another show. Right. <laughs> like five cents. Shelly. Shelly, 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 Shelly. I can hear niggas touching themselves while she's talking. <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is <laughs> Shelly <laughs> with smooth. Speedy, yeah. make us hear her name one more Tell time. Tell Shelly to give her info one more time. I ain't through yet. M S H E L L Y. Speedy, why are you looking at me? Thank you, Shelly. I'm tripping on you. creeping me out. No, I'm tripping because niggas is watching the show, but they ain't like, hey, text why you wear that shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you add? Just keep looking at the shirt like, nigga, right, he exactly. wore that shirt. He right. Snitched on himself. Why you wear that shirt? <laughs> right. Yeah, well, I asked why. Yeah. <laughs> Dumb ass mama. Uh, <laughs> Speedy is funny on everything. That speed- <laughs> I was looking for my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Blind, blind. I never forget. I'm in the car blind, on my phone. Blind. No, I was in the car and my phone is doing navigation. Right. And I can't find. What the fuck? Turn left. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> fuck is exactly. my phone? At? I did that before. Make a right turn. Definitely happened. I did that before. I've, I've been looking for my phone with my phone. On the phone, right. oh yeah, on it. Like in right. the car, I turned Tell the light the on. I turned the light on. I'm like, <laughs> on the phone? phone? Yeah. It's because you're smoking too much. Right. <laughs> Never smoke too much. Yeah. <laughs> That's a myth. That's like having your glasses on your head and looking for your glasses. Oh, yeah. Fuck. No, That's he did that to me. Nick, where's my glasses? Nick, I was like, uh, I'm literally I think, right I think, you, I think you smoke high enough to get to that point. Then you'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm high as shit. Right. Uh, this is how you lost your hair. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> wear glasses up top. Nigga. Too much up top. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Speedy <laughs> is funny on everything. That Speedy I Z funny on everything can Impossible. be Speedy on Facebook. Happy birthday goes out to James uh, Corbin. So forty years old. Uh, he's cool. I like him. Mm-hmm. Uh, shit, I can't see. Nigga, I tried to wing it. Nigga, no. can't see. There we hey, go. Hey, I have a question. Ah, shit. How come Nick never gives his information? I only talk about the Lord, Shelly. No, you don't. <laughs> so I follow wanna, you. If, you don't. If y'all want to hear about the Lord, no, follow okay. me. <laughs> Akbar. <laughs> who is 29 years old. She's on Love and Hip Hop. You don't know who it is. Beanie Man. Oh, I love Beanie Man. Beanie Man. Beanie Man is 45 years old. Uh, I couldn't pronounce his name, but you know the character at uh, BC. Out of BC. Oh, yeah. Yeah, from, from uh, what's no, his, his name? From got the HBO really. show. He's 52 uh, years old. And Cindy Williams from? Cindy Williams. Come on, come on, y'all. Cindy Williams. Huh? Cindy Williams. From the girl group? One specific Come name. on, man. TV show. I don't know. Cindy Williams. Fine, right? Mm-hmm. No. 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 Okay, I don't know. Don't you know? I can't, uh, I can't tell. Beetlejuice. Smigo, Smigo. Smigo. Oh, Amigo. you talking about Cindy Williams from Laverne and Shirley? There you go. Smigo, <laughs> Smigo. <She is, laughs> I don't know what the lead for. <laughs> All I knew was Smigo, Smigo. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck. Yeah, Cindy she from is Laverne 70, and Shirley. She's 72 Damn. years old. And Penny Marshall passed. Right. So she outlived Penny yeah, Marshall. Yeah, she got to hold it down now. Oh, shout out to my boy uh, Chris Tucker doing a celebrity golf tournament this weekend. In Atlanta. Shout out to Chris oh, Tucker. Invited, nigga? It's in Atlanta. Yeah, you're going to Vegas. Him, you ain't yeah, going to be here. Girl, you're quit, be telling me, quit giving my I know. So he was supposed to come work out with us on right. Monday, but now he ain't going to be there. Right, I can't come. So it's just me, Tia, oh, so and you're going. Yeah, Wait, y'all doing it Monday? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know why I was thinking Friday. That's Monday. So tell her to just keep it the same time every Monday, then I can come on the next one. So they're changing so, so the golf tournament is Friday and Saturday, Sunday? I think it's just Saturday. Yeah, it's just Saturday. You paid for everything? Yeah. But you got to pay for it. Yeah, I ain't paying for everything. <laughs> no, I, ain't I, don't, I don't like playing that much. <laughs> we go down there and pay for That's four hours of my right. life. I'm going to never get back. Right. Hate, golf is all day type golf. thing. I know. After about nine holes, you be like, whoo. Nigga, and nine. Like, all right, we're in the middle now. Fuck Nigga, the after, middle. <laughs> after the. 15th time I lost the ball. I fuck that ball. Yeah, you got the I, think I just went back on the cart, nigga, and turned the music on. Nigga, I, <laughs> I kept just throwing my ball to the next hole. Nigga, fuck <laughs> y'all. Who are you going to tell? Right. 
Especially if you play a motherfucker that be taking it all seriously. Then you're like, nigga, well, did you just yell it, at me about <laughs> golf? Oh, it wasn't Come on! It was the dudes behind us oh, Russian got shit. mad because we would take it too they long. They want to play through. And they're to like, say that shit. hey guys, can you just, you know, maybe just throw the ball or whatever? Right. It ain't never the people you playing with. No, it's right. dudes that's waiting, that's that's waiting think on they you. On the tour and shit. Yes. So yeah, the range master coming to us like, hey guys, you're behind your account. You yelled yeah. up. You guys he wanna... came in his cart. Right. Woo! 5-0, golf 5-0 and shit. Hey, you guys want to let them play through? Like, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you holding up. So, up. Don't forget, line. man. Next week, we'll be doing some shows different times later in the day, especially on the East Coast. Or even if you're here, it's later in the day. So we'll be doing the shows later in the day. We'll give you a heads up when those days are. Uh, definitely tune in. And again, please like the show, like Shelly said. Yes, so like, like the Yeah, show. like, share, and mm. subscribe, you bitch Punk. mother. Mm. Or I'm going to have eggplant. <laughs> Are right, you gonna end up with egg all over your face? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> face. <laughs> your name is Face. Show your love for Face. Hey, so chat room. If y'all stay tuned, I'm gonna play a little bit of my homegirl's movies guilty that you can find oh, you on do it YouTube. You can play the outro music, but y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna play a little bit of this other movie. Hold so on, stay bro. tuned. So I'm gonna do it this way because it went my coolest. Oh no, we can't play that. Nah, I played a rollout. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. Yeah. All right, here it goes. Uh, thank you again for listening to the show. Appreciate it. Thank you to our guest, the other lady. Was it, what was her name, Nick? Uh, something Nut. Yeah. Mi- <laughs> shout out to Miss Nut. Nut. Something Nut. Nigga, shout everybody. out to Miss Nut. The nigga in the yeah. chat room, they said, who the, who the little dude? Nigga, they called her CB4. <laughs> it was Shay Nut. Shay Nut. I wasn't going to say all that shit. CB4. <laughs> I'm going to call Lil Nut. Shout out Lil Nut. She what was, was she doing? She said, they was like, nigga. She's a rapper. Her, her uh, voice is deeper than Speedy's. I went, oh. <laughs> Shay Nut. I'm glad she couldn't see nut. that chat room, nigga. They was yeah. killing. Oh, yeah. So little and this, this one wasn't bad. This was... motherfucker that can't do no poker fake. Nut. Look at this stuff. <laughs> Little <laughs> nut. <laughs> so like, no, I ain't laughing in this shit. We out. Oh my gosh. Shout out to Shane Nut. Dude, I could never be like in a comedy movie. Dude, I could look-